this video, I will be showing you guys how to make uh, the interior of your elementary school uh, here uh, in Minecraft, or the one, or I guess my elementary school, but yeah, just the one you made uh, off of my channel. Um, but yeah, it's about time. Um, and yeah, you guys may have noticed that I uploaded the tutorial, and then I re-uploaded it, and it's a sh it's shorter now. It's because I di I just I I didn't I didn't edit it. I just didn't edit it. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a lot shorter now. Um, actually, well, when you're watching this, I will have edited it, but um, right now I haven't edited it, so I don't know how long it is right now. But I <laughs> I not haven't edited it yet, but. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to make the elementary school. I'm going to show you guys how to make, well, the inside of it. I'm going to show you guys how to lay out the walls and do the floorings and basically make all the rooms. So this is going to be another long tutorial. Um, I'm going to have to edit this one as well. This time, I, this one I will make sure to edit. Um, uh, but yeah, and as you can see, there's no window glare because it's uh, dark outside now, finally. So um, I feel like that's when I should record these tutorials is when it's dark out so we don't have that stupid glare. But that's like the, unless I get, until I get curtains. But anyway, sorry, I am taking way too long to talk. Let's just get straight on into this. So, uh, the materials you're going to need for right now, uh, you're going to need, um, light gray terracotta, terracotta, brick block, chiseled quartz, and then sea lantern for right now. Let me zoom out a bit here. I feel like I'm, yeah, too zoomed in here. All right, so starting off, um, so you walk inside your elementary school, right, and you notice that this whole, there's just so much to do here. All right, so just above the door, you can actually go ahead and just fill this up. Um, and sorry if you hear my cats. My cats are staying over. Or not my cats, my sister's cats. Sorry, so if you hear the cats. Yeah, they're currently scratching at the door. But yes, um, so you can see the terracotta. And the, yeah, just fill the terracotta up to there. And then obviously connect that to there. And you can actually go ahead and just fill this up right here. It's not going to take long, so I'm not going to cut this out. I probably will, but <laughs> uh, but if you're seeing this, it's obviously not cut out. But yeah, so that's yeah, so that's kind of like the top of the that that's pretty much that whole part. So you can kind of see how that kind of just smooths off. Excuse me if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. But uh, and actually, yeah, go ahead right here and put the terracotta like where the gym is. Uh, I don't know how you forgot to fill that up, but yeah, now that's all smoothed off there uh just kind of like go around smooth everything off the bricks don't worry about the bricks that's all going to get covered by a ceiling okay so now i'm going to show you guys um how to lay out the inside so you can see i have a bunch of lines here that's just so i can show you guys how to lay this out so you're going to grab your light gray terracotta you're going to come to this corner here so you have the front entrance right you're going to actually you know what i'll start with the gym so you're going to come to this very corner right here right obviously yeah right here at the right of the entrance you're going to um, basically, like, you're just going to basically connect it all the way to this corner. So it's like, um, yeah, so literally just take your light gray terracotta and just kind of, as you're tracing through it, just kind of look and see and make sure if it's connected to this corner. And then if it is, that's perfect. And now you've just um, done that. You can go ahead if you want to, just go ahead and put, like, uh, the terracotta on here. But I'm not going to do that yet because I still have to show you guys how to lay out this school all right now this one um so you're gonna come to um this exact corner right here this is <coughs> <coughs> excuse me sorry my voice is like literally dying but anyway uh, you're gonna come to this corner right here um and so this is the left of the entrance um if you're looking at it from this point of view and you're literally just gonna drag it all the way to the very end very very simple all the way to the very end because you can see everything's like in line there so you're just gonna drag everything all the way to the end. Um, all right, and then you're basically going to leave a gap of, so coming from where we started, uh, this is way too zoomed in, what the heck am I doing? Sorry, anyway, you're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then on the 23rd block, you're gonna delete a block and then go delete, um, well, okay, so you're going to, so on the 23rd block, you're going to delete that one, then you're going to delete the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th blocks. You're basically going to delete uh, six blocks like that, and then everything else is going to stay the same. All right, so then you just separated, you just made your hallway. Uh, well, not, not 100%, but all right, so now from the two ends here that you see, you're going to extend them all the way to that wall um, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then on the fifth, and then this 15th block here, uh, oh yeah, you're going to do the same thing on this side. So this side, you also want to go up by 15. Uh, on the on the right here, on the right side here, you're going to extend this 15th block by uh, to the, to the uh, right 
by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then just extend to the wall. Um, this is uh, just another hallway. This 15th, this left side, you're going to extend to the left by uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then you're going to extend that to the wall, and this is the entrance for the launch room. Let me just go ahead and tell you guys the, the so obviously the big one is the gym. Um, this is the library, um, bathrooms, um, uh, classroom, classroom, lunchroom, um, lunchroom kitchen, um, main office, nurse's office, principal's office, conference room, um, classroom, classroom. So yeah, that's pretty much the, all the rooms in the school. All right. So once you have, um, made those, um, you want to go ahead and come to this right side here. Uh, and then from, uh, this corner here, you're going to leave a gap. You're going to come in by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh block, you wanna go ahead and connect it to the other side to separate the library from the bathrooms. So, and then once you've done that, you wanna come uh, to this corner right here, and then you just wanna go in by one, two, three, four, five, and then from there, go in by two, and then right here, you can go and delete the blocks. That's how you're gonna get into the bathroom. All right, and then uh, going right by one, you're gonna basically connect that to the other side and then dig out a block, and then this next block you want to go in by two. And yeah, and that's pretty much, yeah, so that's how you make the entrances to the bathrooms, and that's how you make the bathrooms. Well, obviously we still have to actually put in like the toilets and stuff, but that's just how you, you know, like lay that out. All right, so that's that whole, this basically that whole side completed, like in terms of, in terms of laying out the, the place. So, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to this uh, left side here, and then from this corner, you're going to leave a, you're going to come in to the left by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this eighth block, you just want to connect all the way until um, you are exactly, uh, till you leave a gap of two from the wall. So this gap of two is like a very tight hallway. And then from this block um, that you just extended, uh, you want to go, like, if you're looking at it, like, in this point of view, you're going to go right by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then you're going to come uh, back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then you're just going to connect to the other side, or, well, just from to the, the row there. And then I think, you're yeah, you're going to do the same thing on this side, except it's, like, swapped, so... From this block here, you guys can see you're going to go left, if you're looking at it again from this point of view, by uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then this ninth block, you're going to connect uh, to this wall here. And then you're also going to just uh, go ahead and drag it all the way until you have it connected to this block right there. All right. Uh, and then from this very block right here, uh, you actually want to go ahead and connect this to this block right there. So you separate the lunch room and then... From this like middle like block here, you want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, and then um, on the fifth block, you want to connect that to the wall to separate the kitchen from the rest of the lunchroom. And then from this same block, uh, you want to go left, we'll leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then connect that all the way to the wall. And then from the sixth block, you want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's the seven. And then on the eighth block, you want to connect. Um, back to that wall and then you want to just connect this together as well and then yeah I think that's yeah that's the entire uh, school laid out so yeah now that once you've done that you have successfully laid out the entire school so now we'll go ahead and do the flooring we actually could have just grabbed that <laughs> to, to begin with okay so you can use whatever like flooring you want in terms of um, um, yeah, honestly, you can really use whatever flooring you want, as long as it's reasonable, of course. Like, you don't want to put, like, red concrete in the gym, you know, like, just, fl I mean, obviously for lines and stuff, we will be doing that, but not, like, for the entire floor, because that's obviously not going to look good. Or, like, you don't want to use, um, hay bales for the, the main hallway, that would look a little silly. So, you know, just use some reasonable materials, but of course, like, you can use whatever wood you want. If you, if you want the colored wood, be my guest, but... I'm not going to do that, but of course, if you want to, if you want to have like a certain style, you can do that. Just any kind of wood or um, like, obviously I wouldn't put diamonds or anything on the ground, just something reasonable. Uh, I'm just going to do oak planks um, for the main hallway or for on, honestly for all the hallways. Cause you know, you obviously want, you don't want each of the hallways to be different colors. That'd be a little weird. Just wouldn't look good in my opinion, but 
um yeah and especially like like again you don't want like bricks on the floor or anything just something reasonable um i'm gonna use um actually hold up i actually have no idea what i'm doing okay so if we come in here um kind of see now for the gym i actually had um this kind of flooring um which is like the warped the or not warped what am i saying the stripped um let me find it can't find it um where is it? I just, oh, it's woods. I'm stupid. Yeah, I had the stripped oak, or actually, I have no idea which one it is. Stripped birch. You could totally do this, except the only thing, uh, if you notice that there's like, like, they kind of like go in all different directions. So you can see like these two are going vertical, and then you can see these two are just going um, horizontal. So uh, unless you want all these random like um, lines all over the place, you can do that. But I just did it for the texturing. Um, oh my god, my stupid cat. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, okay, so basically for the main hallway, we're going to use oak, um, wood, um, so you're just going to go ahead and, okay, so I'm going to show you guys, okay, so you're going to dig, um, like, so from the main entrance, right, you're going to dig all the way up here, and then you're going to make a right, I mean, I mean, you guys should be able to tell, like, where the hallways are everywhere, but yeah, so then you're going to go then down here, and then of course dig out all the rest of this, so you're basically going to just dig out the hallway flooring, um, Cause we're doing the flooring first for all the rooms because it's just going to make it a lot easier uh and, and then we're going to make the walls and then the, the ceiling it'll just make everything a whole lot easier just being able to uh, do this but yeah you can kind of just see like where the hallway is just kind of going around and if you don't i'll go ahead and go up here um of course my cat's trying to escape my room here but <laughs> but yeah i mean you guys can pretty much tell like where the hallways are so all that you want to dig all that grass out and place um whatever your flooring is. I rec I do recommend wood, just, I don't know why. Uh, you could do carpet. Carpet would look really good, like, if you wanted to do wool. Not, like, actual carpet, like the Minecraft material, because that's going to suck, <laughs> especially because we're going to put a rug in here. So I recommend just, like, wool if you want, like, a carpety material. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just kind of, you know, dig all that out. And then, uh, what, what texture did I, and then, of course, for the gym, um, use whatever wood you like. I would highly recommend wood for the gym, because, you know, all gyms have, like, a wood flooring. So, I wouldn't recommend any other material but, um, wood. So, just, but it doesn't matter what wood you use, um, but just whatever wood you like. I'm just gonna do the stripped birch, uh, or the stripped, um, oak. Yeah. Uh, the, for the bathrooms, I recommend, like, a tile. Um, I'm just gonna do, uh, quartz bricks for the tile for the bathrooms. Um, so go ahead and, um, yeah, just kind of, that's just an example. And that's obviously not, that's obviously not the flooring done. And then for the library, I had like a, a fun colored carpet. Like I had like a cyan colored carpet, like a cyan wool. Um, you guys don't have to do this. Use whatever wool you like. Um, this is what's nice about the library. I would highly recommend wool, but you can use any color. If you want to do black or, or white or gray, I mean, a gray would honestly look good. Um, but, but black or white, I mean, I'm not a fan of that, but go ahead and use that if you want to. Um, it would honestly look good. Um, but I'm just, although I'm just not a fan of it. I like, I like just like actual colors. Cyan just really pops. I don't know why. I just, I really like cyan for the library. So that's what I'm going to use, but you, you use whatever color wool. This is, com the floors are completely customizable in terms of like what color you use. Um, the lunchroom, um, Oh my gosh, sorry about my voice. My voice is like very just broken at the moment. But, uh, and then, yeah, for the offices, I think for the classrooms too. I could be wrong though. Let me look in the classrooms. Okay, no, the classrooms are like a different colored wood. And then the cafeteria. Okay, so, um, all right. So for the, uh, all right, let me, let me get out of here. I can't, can't find my way out of here, of course. All right, um, all right, and then for the classrooms, you could I would you can do like a wood. Um, I would highly recommend uh, like a different colored wood from the hallways. Like if you did if you do oak for the hallways, I recommend doing something different for the classrooms. Um, you can do carpet for the classrooms. That would honestly be pretty nice. Um, but I'm just gonna do wood like I have in the original. Um, I'm just gonna do the jungle wood for the classrooms. Um, and keep in mind that there are two types of classrooms to make. I didn't actually tell you guys this. There's a preschool classroom and then there's a like a multi-purpose like second to fifth grade classroom so you know just you know you can put like both of these preschool or both of these they're multi-purpose or all multi-purpose or all preschool or no preschool or, you know what you, you know, whatever just you know for yeah just put you know how whichever classrooms you want and how many of them you want 
um, you know, in terms of like the, the versions of the classrooms. For the main office, I just have gray wool, um, just kind of standard gray wool. Uh, also for the nurse's office and the principal's office. So these all have the gray wool and the conference room as well also has the gray wool. Um, so, so yeah, that's all gray wool for me, but of course use whatever you want. Um, and then the birch, um, or I'm sorry, the lunchroom has the birchwood planks. I just thought I, I wanted like a bright color for the ca cafeteria. Um, the kitchen, um, you can honestly use whatever you want. I'm going to use, uh, just kind of tile for the kitchen like I did in the bathrooms. So that's what I'm going to do there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all how all the flooring will work for me. But yeah, just, so just dig out all of the grass and then place your flooring of choice for either room. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back once I've done that. Okay, y'all, once you have, uh, put your flooring down, you guys can see, uh, put all my flooring, um, uh, if you're gonna do stripped wood, um, like in the gym, I'm just gonna break into here, uh, make sure they're all, like, vertical like this, don't make sure they're not, like, you know, like, um, like, make sure, like, some of them aren't like that, because then that's not gonna look good, so if you're gonna do the stripped wood, make sure to build them in, like, um, strips along there, but, yeah, and then as you can see, I did, um, fill up the walls here, um, recommend doing that as well, just fill them up till they're just below the brick, like on this wall here, like all the walls, uh, except for the gym, of course, the gym just goes all the way to the top, the walls for the gym just go all the way to the top, um, but for everything else, just go, like, just below the brick, and then for the ceiling, um, I recommend using, uh, chisel quartz, just cause, um, it just has a nice design, and it's just above the windows here, um, for all the roof, excuse me, for all the rooms, uh, you can start by just kind of outlining it along here, or just tracing it along, um, just kind of like this, so, yeah, um, and then in terms of, like, the light patterns, I mean, you can kind of, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky, um, but yeah, just kind of figure that out, and then, yeah, so, like, um, so, yeah, you can, and then, like, for the bathroom, you just kind of trace that along here, um, like this, and then this is honestly, like, super easy, so then, like, this part you fill in with the lights, and then there, so yeah, that's, like, for the bathroom, just for, like, an example, um, um, and then for the bathrooms, uh, you want to go ahead and leave a gap or two from the ground, and then just go ahead and fill this up here, um, on both sides, so then you can actually, yeah, just kind of drag the ceiling through there as well, so yeah, that's for, like, the bathrooms, just as an, as an example, um, and then for the, the gym, um, I actually have no idea, <laughs> let me look in here, um, if I can, oh, yeah, so it's definitely, it's definitely up here, I think it's, like, right below the, uh, yeah, so I think, okay, so it's, okay, so it's, like, directly below, um, let's see, so, yeah, okay, so it's, like, right, like, right up to the, like, very top, so, like, if we come into the gym here, it is, like, just above the windows as well for in here, so, so, yeah, just, so, for every room, the ceiling sits just above, like, all the windows, so, yeah, for the gym, um, yeah, you just do the same thing, and then, and then, yeah, and obviously the windows, um, you can kind of tell, like, you can kind of do, like, um, three by three with the lights, um, and then just kind of, yeah, so the ceiling for the light, the, you can tell the ceiling for the gym is going to be even, like, all strips of one for the lights, and then obviously you just extend the strips all the way to the end there, um, but yeah, so for the ceiling, you just, like, outline every room, uh, at the top there, uh, again, just above the windows, like, below the brick, but above the windows, like, right here, for all the rooms, um, and then just kind of, you know, kind of figure out, like, and then just kind of put, like, strips of, uh, like, for, so, like, for the classrooms, you can see that you just do that, and then once you have the ends there, oops, you can see that this is going to be perfectly even, all right, so all the classrooms are going to have perfectly even lights, um, the cafeteria, uh, let's see, will the cafeteria have even lights? Probably not, <laughs> Um, nope, okay, so then you just put, like, two there, and then you have, like, strips of lights there. Kitchen, um, also probably not, maybe, well, actually, I think the kitchen really doesn't even have any strips of lights. Yeah, literally, you just do, like, this, and then that's, and there you go, that's the kitchen. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, just kind of, like, see if you can make, like, even strips of, um, of, um, sea lanterns. Um, of course, if you don't want to, if, if you don't want to use sea lanterns, that's perfectly fine. You can use glowstone. I wouldn't recommend redstone lamps, though, because you need redstone for that, and then that just doesn't look good. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like, so yeah, just kind of like, so just basically outline, like, um, like I showed you in the library, just outline all the ceilings first before actually putting in the lights and all the strips, just to 
make things a little easier just to kind of start off with like a canvas I'd say um and then uh yeah I'll uh, be back once I've done all that okay y'all once you have made um the ceilings well actually I do have a confession to make we need to make some slight changes first of all um this wall right here as you can see like right here um this is actually um this is actually a, like it's in the wrong place this and like the just this like entire wall right here uh, is in the wrong place it wants to be moved um uh, like one block towards like the wall here so you basically want to make sure that there is a one two three four five block gap right here in this hallway and not only that uh the bathrooms are also the wrong size you want to make sure that you can get like okay so basically um, so for this side, you want to make sure you have a one, two, three, four, five block gap right here. And then in front here, you want to have a one, two, three, four, five. So a six block gap in front of the restrooms. And on the left of the restrooms, you want to have a five block gap. Um, and then what else? Um, so yeah, just make sure, and then make sure the ceiling, you can get the ceiling. I'm just going to bust through here. Uh, just make sure you can get like the ceilings of the restrooms to like, to like look like this. So you make sure, make sure the restrooms are one, two, three, four, five block five by one two or three four so five by six make sure the restrooms are five by six so that also includes moving this wall actually like back um like towards the restroom so this entire wall right here um you want to move towards the bath the towards the front of the restrooms and not only that yes there's a whole nother wall we have to move and that will be this entire wall right here so this whole wall and i do apologize for this it wants to be moved one block towards the front of the school so um so yeah i noticed that when i was making the ceilings that the conference room was uneven then i realized all the other rooms were uneven so so yeah um you want to make sure yeah to make those changes um i do apologize for that i know those are some very big mistakes uh i will take full responsibility for that but yeah this is kind of what you want your ceilings to look like and then um so yeah pretty simple there um but yeah so that's the ceiling and then you can actually go ahead and fill up the roof with the light gray terracotta so i mean you can see how we have the ceiling or not the ceiling the roof lined up with the light gray terracotta um like all the way around so literally just the entire ceiling just fill that up with light gray terracotta where the light gray terracotta is and then once you've done that that is actually the like building pretty much of the school like 100 percent complete and then we can actually work our way inside and make all the details um but before um you guys fill up the roof i want to just go ahead and um well actually you know what go ahead and fill in the roof and then we'll work on the inside a little more um so yeah okay so once you have filled up your roof uh, the school um, we can now do the inside so um, before we do like well actually I'm going to guys how to do some stuff here so we're going to knock out all the doors for all the rooms here as well as put some windows for the office and the library so to do that uh, you're going to come to where the gym wall is here you're going to leave a gap of one dig out two blocks dig out two above and then you're simply going to put dark oak and then of course uh white stained glass block above it uh, and then this is how you get into the gym um and then Beside it, you can just, like, um, on either side, really, you can just write, like, a, you can put a sign, you can say gym, so people know what room that is, uh, and then come to the other side of the gym wall, you want to leave a gap of one, and then do the same thing for the doors, dig out two, or four blocks, put a door, and then, um, white glass block above that, and then, um, and then you want to do, and you want to spell out gym on a sign, uh, for that as well, so, Excuse me, once you have done that, um, you want to come to this this wall right here. So if you look at the front entrance, right, you're going to come to this wall. You're going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh and eighth block, dig those out and go up by one. Um, dig out, leave a gap of one, do the same thing. Dig two blocks, go up by one. And then in the middle here, you can just write library or media center, whatever you want to write. Um, if I can type that in, there we go library and then of course you want to put the doors and then you want to do um, glass block above the doors so that it matches up with the windows and then a cap of one from this door you want to dig out one two three four five six seven and then dig out another row up top and then just put white glass pane or whatever color glass pane you want um but yeah and then that's going to be the doors and window for your the library um 
And then once you've done that, uh, you're gonna come to the end of the hall here. Uh, you're gonna leave a gap of one, dig out two blocks, dig out two blocks above. All right, and then you're gonna leave a gap of one from here, from there, and then you're just simply gonna dig out a row until you are a gap of one away from the wall, and then just dig another row up top and put glass, and then just above the doors you want to put glass block. Above all the doors you want to put glass block, um, except for the classroom doors. Those are gonna be different, and I'll show you guys why. Uh, and of course the bathroom doors as well. Those will be different. Um, and then come inside for the principal's office. You want to again leave a gap of one, and then dig out two um, for two doors. And then glass block above and then do the same thing on this side for the nurse's office leave a gap of one dig out two blocks dig out door dig out, and then yeah so you guys can pretty much see how this is going to work oh and then for in here uh for the uh, meeting room or the conference room um i think it's here or is it here i think it's actually here hang on sorry guys okay so i guess it really doesn't matter i mean uh, yeah, no, actually it is right here, never mind, yeah, so it does actually need to be a certain, uh, uh, but it doesn't actually want to be two blocks, it wants to be one block, um, and then you just want to put a dark oak door, and then this can just say, like, conference room or something, I'm just gonna say, I'm not, I'm not even gonna put a sign, it's just co, there we go, <laughs> um, and then you want to put, uh, glass on this side of the door, like this, um, for the, the, for that, and then that'll be the conference room, door all right and then you want to come uh okay so now that we got that door uh you want to come to the classrooms here uh you want to come to this corner here this corner uh you want to go leave a gap of one two three four five six and then dig out two blocks leave a gap of one dig out two more blocks now the, for the classrooms you don't want to put double doors like this you actually want to just put a single door and actually for the door i recommend um um, oak instead of uh, dark oak because uh, classroom doors have like windows in them so that's why I recommend the, the oak doors and not the dark oak um, they just look better in my opinion um, but of course feel free to use dark oak if you want I just like the oak because you know has the window in it and a lot of classrooms have windows in the, the doors and whatever so and then yeah you can just write like a teacher name here uh, if you want these are going to be the preschool classrooms at least for me but these can be multi-purpose classrooms or this can be a, a preschool and this could be a regular multi-purpose whatever you want um and then yeah once you've gotten that done uh you want to come to the bathrooms and then just above uh it doesn't really matter which one you have the girls and which one you have the guys um i, I chose this one for the guys not for the girls um but uh, but yeah, just, you know, dig a block above the doors here, like the doorways, I guess, and then just put, um, uh, you know, the blue for men and then the uh, pink for women. Uh, and you can put doors in here if you want, but uh, I like the idea of it just being like a, like an entrance in here, so, so yeah, that's just for the bathrooms. And then, uh, if you come over here, simply just dig out two blocks from the wall here, and then, um, that's pretty simple there. Uh, and then you can just put a jungle sign, and then that can spell out library. Um, this will be, you know, just put some glass above the doors like that. Um, you can't even just go across like that if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to do that. Um, and then I think you can actually go ahead, I'm not 100% sure if you can do this, but I would leave this wall just as it is. I'm not sure if you can put a window in here or not, but um, I would leave it as it is. Sorry if the camera keeps going out of frame here i'm not exactly good at keeping it in frame so just i apologize about that um okay and then at the end of the hall you want to do the same thing uh you want to dig out two and then dig out two on this side and then just simply put doors like that and then this is of course the lunch room so i'm just gonna spell it lunch because i'm lazy at this point there we go um and then you want to put glass above here just like that and you can also again go across like that if you wanted to and then these are the two other classrooms, so you want to come to this wall here. This corner you want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh block, dig out two blocks. Um, put an oak door, and then white stained glass. And then on the other side, you want to put an oak door. And then, yeah, or, you know, leave a gap of one, then dig out two, and then just like that. And then, you know, these can be the signs for whatever classrooms those are. Um, and yeah, and I think that is all of the rooms. Um, with the doors so yeah now that once you've put in all the doors um, that's pretty much that part done uh, now we can actually get started with putting stuff in the interior um, so what you want to do is you're gonna want to grab these materials so we're gonna work on the main hallway all right we're gonna work on the main hallway 
and then we're gonna need um, ooh, we're gonna need more than gray shulker box. We're gonna need um, whatever color shulker box you want, and whatever uh, color concrete you want. Um, and then smooth quartz slab, iron bars, iron frame, trip wire hook, red wool, positive inside stairs, clock, and black concrete. But we're just gonna need. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put away uh, the uh, the the polished end say stairs, the clock, and the black concrete. Um, we're gonna put those away for now. All right. And then you're going to um, grab, uh, so basically just grab like, so like I grabbed like gray shoulder box. Um, I would also recommend grabbing like a secondary color. Um, it doesn't have to be gray, it can be whatever color you want. It can be red, green, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna grab, uh, where are the shoulder boxes? I am so stupid, okay, there we go. I'm gonna grab light gray shulker box and then I'm just gonna grab like two of the same colored like concrete, so like gray and dark gray. Um, so basically lockers, um, which is what these are, and obviously this is an elementary school and a lot of elementary schools don't have lockers. Um, so I'll show you guys how to make like cubbies as well if you guys wanna make those. Um, but if you guys wanna be, you know, if you guys don't really care and wanna put lockers, um, you're simply gonna take, um, let's see, so you're gonna leave a gap of one from the gym sign, right? And then you're simply just gonna put like um, repeating rows of like the concrete. Oh my gosh, guys! See, I am so so bad at this, guys. Uh, you want to? Oh my gosh, how am I so bad at this? You want to leave a cap of one. Uh, you want to put like your primary color, and you can see it, uh, it's even here because this is gap of one for the sign. So for your like, so let's say you're using gray, right? Um, you're gonna leave. So this is gonna be your primary color, and then your secondary color. For me, this is light gray. Uh, you want to just put this in the gaps. So the lockers are simply so easy. You just want to put like rows of just that, you know, just like um, like a checkerboard pattern of like your primary and secondary color. Um, and then you're just going to simply put um, the corresponding um, shulker box above whatever, you know, concrete that shulker box color is. So let's say, you know, the gray shulker box goes above the gray concrete, the light gray goes above the light gray. And then of course, whatever colors you're using that would apply to that as well. Um, and then simply just put quartz slab above these. You don't have to do this. Um, I just thought this kind of like tied them all together, make it look uh, a little more finished, I guess. Um, and then you're simply gonna put item frames. Oh, not there, actually, not there. Uh, you, you only put item frames on the um, on the shulker boxes, not the concrete. All right, once you've done that, you wanna put the iron bars. This is meant to be like the combination, um, like lock to open the locker. Uh, so what these are meant to be. Uh, this was an idea from TSMC, so shout out to him. And then for the button, um, you're gonna wanna put a button. This is kind of like what you would like, how you would like open the locker, I guess. Um, or no, I guess these could be the combination lock, and this is like how you like open the locker. I don't know. But whatever you wanna, whatever you want, whatever your imagination decides. Um, and yeah, that's literally the lockers. That's so easy. And, and again, you can they're fully customizable, and you can actually open them and put stuff in it. So. That's really cool as well, so. Um, but yeah, just like, make them any color you want. You can make them all just one color, or like different colors, or like three different colors. You can do whatever you want. They're fully customizable. Um, and then for this wall right here, we're gonna put our stuff away here. Um, and then you're simply just gonna grab um, polished andesite stairs, and I just got rid of my um, tripwire hooks, but um, it really doesn't matter where you, how you place these, but you're just gonna put like two stairs uh, two upside down andesite stairs and then just trip our hooks these are water fountains um and then and yeah that's pretty much that all right so um and then over here is where you can put like more lockers um so again just um now you can do like um now here's an idea if you want to do like um a certain color for each hallway so let's say this hallway has like gray lockers um i don't know this hallway has green lockers and this hallway has um you know, like red lockers, you know, wherever you want, you can do that. Um, and I'll show you guys, uh, I'll probably do that for this tutorial, but, um, okay, what am I doing? Okay, so you're gonna grab back your, uh, your locker materials. Um, oops, I forgot the buttons. Of course I forgot the buttons. <laughs> All right, and then you're, again, you're just gonna simply just do the same thing as you did with the other lockers. Um, and then you just wanna make sure you're leaving a gap of one from from here uh, and from here as well. And then again, just put the shulker boxes. You guys pretty much know how to make the lockers by now, at least you should. Um, but yeah, just do that for um, all the lockers. 
10 or something, and then, yeah, just, literally just make the lockers, um, and then, yeah, alright, and then once you have done that for both sides, the lockers, it's now time to make the clock that's on the wall here, I don't know why I'm gonna put away so many materials, okay, so you're gonna need your, your clock, your black concrete, your iron bars, and then your item frame, sorry, this keeps getting out of frame, I'm never gonna remember to get it in frame, um, uh, and you're gonna put the clock, like, right above one of these lockers, um, just right here, um, doesn't matter which one, because it's not gonna be centered, so, just kinda, whatever, just as long as it's, like, somewhere above these lockers, and honestly, you can put the clock anywhere you want, it doesn't even have to just be here, you can even put two of them if you want, you can put one here, um, but yeah, so it's an item, so it's a, so it's a iron bar, an item frame, or, I'm so stupid, iron bar, black concrete, and then item frame on both sides, and then a clock in the item frame, and then that's it, <laughs> so easy. Um, and then, yeah, you want to do this for, um, uh, the other one as well. Again, these clocks are so easy to make. It's one of those, like, hallway clocks that just, like, stick out of the wall, so that's what this is meant to be. Um, so, yeah, kind of let you know, like, if you're in the hallways and you haven't gotten to class yet, lets you know, you know, if you'll be late or not. But, yeah, so that's the, the clocks again. It actually looks a lot better with two clocks in here, honestly. Okay, so the way you're going to put this carpet down is you're going to, so you see where you have this middle door, right? You're gonna, so like from this wall, like that separates the doors, you wanna dig out like exactly like at the wall here, you wanna dig out two, three, four, five, six blocks in the very middle like this. And then you're simply gonna extend them all the way until they reach uh, here, until they get to this like part of the wall here, like this corner. That's exactly where you want the, um, the carpet. Uh, to reach and then um, you can honestly make this go even further it doesn't have to be this small like it can go you know up to the doors um, up here but the, here's the problem though the water fountains are here and then it's not exactly like even so that's why I didn't do that but so yeah that's why it's a lot better just having it here in the middle but yeah and then just take out all this wood and then um, yeah I'll be right back once I'm done all right, y'all, once you, uh, so actually the carpet wants to be all the way uh, to the office again. And sorry about my window glare. I'm recording this video on different days because of my busy schedule. So that's why you kind of see some differences and some stuff. But yeah, so once you've uh, reached the carpet all the way to the end, see so yeah, that's how long the carpet wants to be. But you know, once you've made that, uh, yeah. so right here, um, so if you come to the office, right? So first of all, on the side here, uh, there's a little seating area. This one's pretty easy to make. I don't really have to like tell you guys how to make it. You can kind of copy it for yourself. I mean, it's really easy. It's just two black stone stairs between some bookshelves and then some paintings. It's so easy. Um, oh, however, for this, um, um, this is a, like like a trophy case because sometimes in schools, you know, they'll win awards. This is like where they'll display all the awards. So they'll have like a row. Uh, so the, okay, so this is like a row of planks, um, spruce planks. It could be any kind of planks you want. It could be oak, birch, whatever. And then just some buttons um, on front of here. And then we have two uh, stairs on the sides and then just slab up top. And then in the middle is glass and then item frames. And then this is um, uh, the shard, uh, netherite scrap. Prismarine shard, another quartz. Uh, this is a an, an amethyst shard. I guess that's how you say it. Um, raw gold, phantom membrane, nether star, and then just an uh, not a nautilus shell. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, guys. Um, but yeah, once you have um, yes, yeah, so then you can just put those in. I mean, you can use whatever you want. Those are kind of what I thought looked like awards. Um, you can kind of use whatever you want, though. Um, and then for the lockers, I mean, again, just kind of put them wherever. For the for this hallway, you want to put a row of lockers, um, especially because there's nothing on this wall, so it just makes sense. Uh, and then, I don't know if I told you guys this, but yeah, you want to put some water fountains beside the bathrooms. So no lockers here. I mean, I guess you could put lockers if you wanted to, but oops, sorry about my camera getting out of frame. My camera is going to be out of frame this whole freaking, uh, or sorry, my, my bad, this whole tutorial, but... But yeah, and then of course you want to just put a clock like in where like between the restrooms here, so on the wall. Uh, and then again right here, um, and then also you may notice that there's a door here. So if you come to the library doors, you want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then dig out two, and then put doors, put glass up top, and a lot, and then put a sign for the library, and then just put like a row of lockers here as well, and then just some. Yeah, and then of course you want to put a clock up here, and then for this side where the lunchroom is, um, you obviously just want to put water fountains just between the classroom and the, it, it just doesn't make sense to have lo lo uh, lockers here, because especially it'll block like the, 
the door here. It just doesn't really fit here, so it just makes sense to have some um, water fountains. And then, of course, some lockers on this side, though. So, so yeah, that's pretty much this whole hallway and the whole main hallway. And, so, yeah, that's that whole hallway there. And then um, I mentioned, you know, uh, that I'd show you how to make the cupboards. Um, cupboards. Cupboard. I don't, I'm not even saying it right. Cubbies. There we go. Um, so, literally, like, it's literally like a... Um, um, what is this? Uh, frick, I'm so dumb. So shulker box and then whatever color concrete. Uh, so whatever color shulker box, whatever color concrete. It's the same with like the lockers. Um, and then like a sign to put like someone's name. Um, or you can put like numbers if you wanted to. I know most schools have like numbers on them and not names. Uh, and then smooth quartz slab um, and then end rod and then uh, yellow band or well, whatever color banner really. Um, and then it's honestly pretty self-explanatory how to make them. I mean, uh, I don't really have any free space to make them, but honestly, it's pretty easy. You just put like a scaffolding or I keep calling, why am I calling a scaffolding? I'm so stupid. Stroker box and then, um, a concrete on top, a sign in front of that. And then like, uh, you know, like, and then just like some slab on top and then, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. It's so easy. Just like, just copy off of here. It's pretty, honestly, pretty easy. Um, and then on this side, you just want to put some water fountains. I was supposed to put a painting on this side, which I guess I'll go ahead and do right now. But yeah, so, yeah, really, it's all just, like, self-explanatory, so. But yeah, so that's kind of, like, how you can decorate the hallways. Um, so pretty simple. Um, but yeah, and then just, if, if, and then, of course, th and feel free to throw paintings around. It honestly would make sense, because, like, you know, schools usually have, like, paintings around to show, like, events and whatever, so. All right, so, yeah, once you've taken care of all of that... Um, we are going to work on the classrooms, specifically the preschool classrooms. Uh, so you're going to need all these materials. You're going to need a uh, red, lime, yellow, and blue concrete. You're going to need bookshelf, crimson planks, painting, clock, chest. Um, and then you're going to need uh, item frame, monster spawner, iron trap door, dragon head, zombie head, creeper head, cyan carpet, cauldron, um, whatever that is. <laughs> um, and then white candle, lantern, book. Polished blackstone stairs, um, birchwood planks, or sorry, birchwood, birchwood slab, my bad. Uh, pillar quartz block, blue banner. Well, the blue banner, this was meant to be like a state flag. Uh, you can do whatever you want for that. Um, and then red banner, sea pickle, and then purple candle, orange candle, red candle, blue candle, paper, lime candle, yellow candle, pink candle, black candle. Those are meant to be, well, I'll show you guys what those are meant to be. So, all right, so you come inside the classroom, and all, by the way, all the classrooms are the, are the same exact size. Um, so it's completely customizable. So you don't have to have these two rooms be the um, preschool classrooms. You can have the other ones be the preschool classrooms if you want. Or you can have like one be a preschool classroom. I already explained this in the beginning. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know ahead. Or whatever. Anyways. Okay, so you can see I have this all marked off. It's just meant, it's just easier for me to do that. So, um, okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with the desks. So, or I guess tables. They're not exactly desks. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come, so once you like walk in to like the classroom, right, you're going to start off at the door, alright, so there's this block in front of the door and you're probably not going to see it because of my stupid window, I need to get like curtains. Alright, and then you're going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four from, um, uh, the door. And then you're just going to go right or left by one and then you're going to place, uh, honestly whatever color you want, I'm just going to do lime. Uh, and then leave a gap of one, and then again, whatever color, I'm going to do blue. And then you're going to go from the last blue, um, concrete that you place, you're going to go up by one, two, three. And then you're just going to place whatever concrete, and then go right by one. Um, gap of one, do the exact same thing. And there you go, and that's how you make the desk. It's honestly super easy. And again, you can swap these colors out with other any different colors. Um, these are like the four like main colors um, that, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of things use the Microsoft logo uses these so these are like the four the four main colors of all colors so but yeah um, and then once you've done that we're gonna put in a bookshelf so from um, this like top left desk here um, which mine happens to be yellow you're gonna come like where like it's between the wall and the desk and you're just gonna go up by one two and then you're basically gonna now like face the wall and then you're gonna put um, a bookshelf and you're gonna go up by two with the bookshelf, that's just a bookshelf. <laughs> uh, and then from this, like the left side of the bookshelf here, you want to leave a gap of two and then just put three crimson planks. Uh, and this is meant to be like a fancy desk. You can honestly do whatever you want for this. And then the chest um, goes on the, uh, so like where we have the door, right? Uh, it just goes along the wall and it's just in the corner here. So it's meant to be like a toy chest. 
Um, uh, and actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put the materials in this because I'm not gonna have any room. Um, but go ahead and leave the painting and the clock because we still need those. And go ahead and grab item frames. Oops, not in the chest. I guess we can just grab it in from our inventory. So item frame, monster spawner, art, um, iron trap door, all the heads. Oops, don't wear the head. And then you want to um, get, um, go ahead and grab cauldron. All right, and then, all right, so just above the door, you want to put two item frames, um, and then just put a clock in one, and then a monster spawner in the other. That's meant, the monster spawner is meant to be a speaker, like, you know, when they do morning announcements. Um, and then paintings, honestly, just go along the room. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna, uh, okay, yeah, so, hang on, I'm so, like, confused, okay, what am I trying to do here? Okay. So yeah, and then that's, okay, so, okay, never mind. I, I literally forgot what I was doing at first. Okay, so that's going to be um, a cauldron, and that's, like, meant to be a bucket of toys. And then between this, you want to put, um, wait, that's not right, is it? Hold on, yeah, that's not right. Hold on, what am I doing wrong here? Ugh, this is so annoying. What's the pillar quartz for? I don't even know. Okay, well, we'll leave this aside, because I literally, for some reason, don't know how to do it, but... Okay, so for the paintings, um, you literally just want to, like, um, leave gaps of two along the walls. Um, pretty simple. Oh, I literally, oh, wow. Okay, what am I doing? Y'all, I, my brain's falling apart right now. And then just literally just put, like, oh, I don't like the same paintings. That gives me OCD. There we go. And then just literally just throw some paintings along the wall. These could be, like, all kinds of, like, charts and whatever. You know, like how they'll have in classrooms, they'll have like a bunch of charts on the walls and stuff, you know, in classrooms. Especially kindergarten classrooms are always full of like stuff, so. Um, yeah, all right, okay, I just realized what the pillar quartz was for. I'm not very smart, okay. Um, okay, so now once we've grabbed all of that, actually the, uh, this, okay, so the trap door I think goes, okay, yeah, so it goes above all of this right here, all right? So like, uh, so from the cauldron to the chest, that's how long that is, all right? So now we can put away all the stuff. Um, oh yeah, and now we want to grab the sand carpet. You want to grab the conduit, whatever the heck that's called. And then a lantern, a book. Oh, and you want to grab your item frame back, my bad. And then you want to grab a pillow quartz block, a birchwood slab. You want to go ahead and grab sea pickle. Um, go ahead and grab white candles. All right, so for this desk here, this is meant to be the teacher's desk. Um, on, in, the, in the middle here, you want to put an item frame of the book. On the right, you want to just put some candles. It doesn't have to be white candles. It can be whatever candles you want, really. And then on the left of it, you want to put a lantern. And then on top of this, top of the bookshelf, con uh, conduit thing, whatever, and then just some sea pickles. So that's meant to be just some random, like, storage just stored up there, whatever. Um, doesn't really matter what they are or what they're supposed to be. Um, and then the cyan carpet just goes above this. It doesn't have to be cyan. It could be whatever, it could be whatever color. It's just meant to be, like, random toys in, like, a chest or in the box, whatever. And then just along the wall, you want to just put a horizontal row of um, pillar quartz. That's like one block or one gap away from each um, side of the walls here. And then you just want to put two rows of it just like that. And then you want to go ahead and put a uh, birch wood, oops, birch wood slab. Oh my goodness, guys. Birch wood slab. There we go. Just along the bottom. And that's, of course, meant to be a whiteboard. Um, and then you want to go ahead and put item frames on all the desks here because we're going to put some stuff on the desks as well. All right, and then once you've done all that, uh, you want to go ahead and grab all of the colored candles and the paper. These are going to be like markers and um, like a drawing paper. So like you can just kind of put the paper where the chair is going to go. It honestly makes sense. And then just, um, just random colors of um, like marker. And I would recommend kind of like twisting them and turning them like this so that it looks like they're in like uh, random positions. Um, I don't know. It just seems a little more realistic to me just kind of doing that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It just, it just honestly makes sense having them in like different like positions like that. Um, so it looks like they're all like randomly thrown down. And then of course you want to grab your polished blackstone stairs and then just like where, again, where the paper is, it honestly just makes more sense. Uh, you want to go ahead and put, um, you know, the, uh, the, the blackstone stair. That's of course meant to be a chair. And then of course behind the teacher's desk as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let me figure out how to do this area real quick. Okay, so I figured out how to do the toy area, and I was on it. I honestly felt stupid afterwards because I don't know how I forgot to do the, how to do this. Um, so you're going to want to grab, I don't know, where did my bookshelf go? You want to grab your heads. Um, I'm going to try not to put them on my actual head here. <laughs> uh, and then you want to just grab your, a bookshelf. 
Uh, yeah, so bookshelf and the three heads. So between the chest and the cauldron, you want to put bookshelf. And then you just want to put the heads on top um, in whatever order you want. Those are obviously just meant to be toys because obviously in kindergarten classrooms, you know, in preschool classrooms, they make you, they, you know, they have toys for you to play with. But yeah, and then that's pretty much it. It is literally that easy. Like it's honestly, and again, these are so, these are repeatable. So you can have these like for all the rooms, of the, all the classrooms of the school or you can have them for just one or like just two. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and make the second one, um, the preschool classroom. But again, all the classrooms are the same size, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and then the sign, you can write like a teacher's name or like just a room number. Um, that's what the signs are for. But, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did in there, uh, in here. And then we will move on to the other classrooms. All right, y'all. So I just got done with the second classroom now. Um, again, now for the second classroom, of course, everything's going to be swapped. So literally the same, you know, directions still apply. Of course, it's just swapped. Uh, of course, if you're making the preschool classroom, that is, if you're making, um, the other kind of classroom, then of course it's going to be a bit, uh, going to be a bit, uh, different. Um, but yeah, that is the, um, that's how you make the preschool classroom again, make them in whatever classrooms you want. And also, uh, by the way, I forgot about to, to mention the, um, the banners are of course like flags. These are optional. Um, this is meant to be a North Dakota flag. I'm not going to show you how to make this cause it's just, it just, I don't know. It's just kind of meant to be, you know, just something random, but yeah. So I'm not going to show you how to make that. It's honestly not that great. I wouldn't recommend making it. Um, the American flag, there's like millions of tutorials on how to make that. Um, you know, it's the, it's, it's you use a red banner and then white dye and then blue dye. And then you let the, and then you should, you should see the options on the loom. Um, so you may, you know, make it yourself without a tutorial. But if you really do need like help with it, and then there's like, again, millions of tutorials. I'm not going to show you how to make it in this tutorial because it's just, this tutorial is already super long. So, um, but yeah, on to the next classrooms. Um, these are, these are multi-purpose classrooms. So these are like grade two or yeah, like grade two, grade three to like grade five. So depending on your school. Usually uh, some elementary schools go up to grade six. That's not how, I never went to elementary school grade six. I wish I did, honestly, that'd be fun. But no, I went to middle school in grade six. But anyway, but yeah, so let me show you guys how to make uh, these classrooms. All right, y'all, so once you um, have made it to the classroom that you wanna make the, the multi-purpose classroom in, um, the materials you're gonna need uh, for this one, you're gonna need paper, bookshelf, monster spawner, um, book, um, oakwood stairs, crimson planks, birchwood planks, total quartz block, birchwood slab, lantern, white cut, white candle, uh, painting, boss blackstone stairs, conduit, or conduit, how, how are you pronounce it? I don't know. I, I know I pronounced it wrong, but whatever. Sea pickle, iron frame, clock, and creeper head. And then, uh, once you have done, um, once you've grabbed all that, go ahead and grab your butchwood planks, your oakwood stairs, Pause blackstone stairs, your crimson planks, and, and then your bookshelf, birchwood slab, quartz block, and then item frame, and then your painting. Uh, and then once you've grabbed all of that, you want to come uh, to the door, right? You want to come to the door. You want to leave a gap of one, two, and then from there, you want to put two birch plank and extend to the right by one. Then you want to leave a gap of one, and then you literally want to do the same exact thing. So a gap of one going uh, to the right. Then from here, leave a gap of two, and then go two down um, with the birch, and then to the right, leave a gap of one. Do the same thing. It's honestly pretty easy. And then in the in this corner here, you want to put like a oak stairs, or obviously this is obviously meant to be a chair. Um, at the back here, you want to put uh, you want to leave a gap of one for the door, uh, and then you just want to put three bookshelf and then extend up by one. Uh, you could also make this like three blocks tall if you wanted to. Um, and then from this. Um, top right desk you want to leave a gap of one and then you want to put three crimson planks um and then on the desk like in front of the uh the oak stairs here you want to put a item frame and then here you want to put an item frame in the middle um and then just a blackstone stair behind it all right and then uh on this back wall here of course you're going to make the, the whiteboard again it's the same concept uh as before um so i really don't have to repeat myself we've already done this before um and then you just want to put like birchwood slab uh, underneath. Um, uh, it's very difficult for some reason. There we go. Um, and then of course the paintings. Um, again, same concept. You just do a gap of two along the wall, um, 
and then you just let the paintings oh my gosh imagine this was all the same that would have been so funny honestly okay um i don't know i hate that these are all the same honestly it gives me bad ocd there we go or yeah whatever okay sorry i don't know why it just it gives me really bad ocd Oh, if the paintings are, it, or, well, not bad OCD, it just, it triggers my OCD, that's what it, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not good at choices of words, if that makes any sense, it doesn't make any sense, whatever, kind of wasting time at this point, I'm not even gonna bother with if the paintings are the same or not, I don't even care, really, but, but yeah, um, and then, um, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and put all this away, um, and then you want to go ahead and grab, um, sea pickle, this thing, uh, the creeper head, the clock, the lantern, the white candle, the, the book, the monster spawner, and then, um, oh yeah, and then the paper, uh, and then if you have them, I guess the flags, but I'm not gonna grab those yet. Okay, so on all the, the kid desks, like the student desks, you want to grab, you want to put paper there, and then obviously, and then above the door, here you want to put two item frames, and then the clock, and then the monster spawner for like the speaker, and then the clock. Um, and then on the teacher desk here, you want to put a book in the item frame, and then you just want to put white candles on the side. It doesn't have to be white candles, it can be any candles. And then above the bookshelf, you want to just put, you know, can, that thing, and then the uh, sea pickles. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, the creeper head, which is what we need. Actually, I don't know if I said to grab that yet, but... And then you just want to put a creeper head. Oops, sorry, this is way off. I don't know, I'm sorry. Yeah, again, guys, the, the camera's gonna be, like, way off, so uh here and there but yeah i do apologize about that but yeah um and then yeah literally that is it that is the multi-purpose classroom again super easy super repeatable um so you can do this throughout the school all the classrooms are pretty repeatable again they're all the same size so it really doesn't matter like what kind of classrooms you do um but yeah so now i'm gonna do uh the other classroom and then we'll go ahead and work on a another room here Okay, y'all, I just completed this uh, second room. Um, again, the flags, you can put those if you want, they're optional, but... But yeah, uh, that is how you make the multi-purpose classroom, like I said, uh, really easy. Again, easily repeatable. This only took me, like, less than five minutes, not even, like, like less than, like, three minutes to make. It's really easy. Um, but yeah, and now that is all of the classrooms completed. Um, <clears throat> that's how you make both classrooms. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make the bathrooms, so... Um, these are also pretty easy. I mean, literally, okay, so here's the materials. You're going to use smooth quartz slab, stone button, spruce, spruce trap door, uh, light blue banner, uh, smooth quartz stairs, empty, uh, empty locator map, I guess, if you want to use that. Or you can do, like, just regular paper. Um, that's meant to be, like, a paper towel. Um, item frame, pillow quartz block, lantern, um, truck, wire hook, truck wire hook, and then warped and crimson doors. All right, and then once you've done that, once you've grabbed all that, you're going to come to the boys' restroom first. Um, and then you're basically going to put, uh, so you want to, so like right in front of, um, I think it's, yeah, right in front of the door, or actually, you know what, let's do the sinks first. So you're going to come to like where we have this wall here, right? You're going to come behind the wall. You're going to put a, um, a pillow quartz on either side. You're going to put smooth quartz um, in between, like, facing into the wall. And then you're going to put lanterns on either side here, right? And then uh, and on top of this, you want to put the, um, um, the, uh, you know what that is, right? And then um, just behind this, you want to put the tripwire hooks. And then right here, or I, I think it's right here. Um, yeah, I think it's, like, right here. You want to put the item frame into your locator map for a little paper towel thing. Um... Yeah, okay, and then just against the wall here, you want to put a uh, quartz uh, quartz stair with a quartz slab on top, and then a button that's meant to be a urinal. You leave a gap one, do the exact same thing. Uh, and then here is where we're going to make uh, the toilet. So um, just to go along the wall here, you're going to put an upside down stair, and then a spruce trap door, and then a button that's meant to be the actual toilet itself. And then you're going to put a slab in here, and then uh, you're going to find a way to put an upside down stair, like facing into... Uh, that, alright, and then you're just gonna simply, um, you're gonna grab your, uh, warp door, you're gonna put a warp door in front of this here, like so, and then you wanna just put two quartz block, and then just slab on top, and that's how you make a stall, really easy, honestly, and you can actually go in here, and there's, you know, it's honestly pretty cramped, but then again, that's how all stalls are, uh, unfortunately, you can't put toilet paper in here, so that kinda sucks, <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's the only downside with these stalls, but they are really easy to make and you can make a nice, you know, compact bathroom. I mean, it's really small in here and it does work. So, 
Um, but yeah, so that's how you make the boys' restroom. And then the girls' restroom is literally the same, just without the urinal, obviously. So, um, so go ahead and replace your warped door with your crimson door. We're going to go ahead and make all the stalls here. Um, so just against the wall here, you're going to put a upside down stair, a uh, spruce trap door, leave a gap of one, and then upside down stairs, and then just, uh, spruce trap doors. Um, and then you just want to put, um, um, item or, you know, slab in between all the toilets. And then, um, you want to obviously put... Uh, the upside down stair um, facing into them like this uh, and then in between the upside down stairs you want to put the crimson doors like so uh, and then um, the quartz blocks on the tops and then the slab just like so and yeah and that's uh and yeah those are the stalls for the girls restroom oh and of course you want to put the buttons on top of there but um and then pillar quartz block on the sides here, again, with the wall, like behind the wall here. Uh, and then the stairs going into the wall here, just like that. Uh, and then the trip wire hooks, a uh, light blue banner. Um, and then you want to go ahead and replace these three materials with these. Oh, not the, not the work door. Um, you want to put item frame, empty locator map, and then, of course, the buttons above the toilets here, like that. And then lanterns on either side of the sink. Um, oh, actually, the... Paper towel. It, it doesn't matter what side the paper towel holder goes on, but, but yeah, and that's, that's it. That's how you make the bathrooms. They're honestly really, really easy. So yeah, there you guys go. Um, so yeah, I think now what we'll do is we will go ahead, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make, uh, like this entire just office area. Okay, y'all, so to make the main office, you're gonna need, um, dark, or sorry, oak wood planks. Uh, you're gonna need birch button. You're gonna need coarse dirt. Uh, dark oak wood stairs, dead bush, uh, oak leaves, flower pot, spruce trap door, uh, paper, item frame, uh, just whatever kind of flower, uh, sea pickle, bookshelf, parks, box stone stairs, book, painting, um, dark oak wood planks, and then dark oak wood trap door, uh, any kind of flower again, um, quartz stairs, weighted pressure plate, uh, stone button, smooth quartz slab, creeper head, gray shulker box, light gray shulker box, um, again, whatever that is, I can never, I can never, I don't ever know what that is. Smooth stone slab, a uh, chest, a clock, and then a monster spawner. Oh, wait, no, we don't need the chest. Sorry, that was for, that was for this chest right here. Uh, and then, of course, you want to go ahead and put a sign that says main office on the side here. Um, just between the window and the door, of course. All right. And then once you have, uh, made your way into the main office, uh, we can go ahead and get to work here. So, um... Excuse me, let me get, oops, excuse me guys. Sorry, anyway, um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come to this side, you're gonna come to the side of the wall, right? You're gonna put three, uh, okay, so so from the door, right? You're gonna leave a gap of two, and then you're gonna, okay, and then you're gonna put the three oak. Um, so the oak actually wants to be two blocks away from either side here. And then on the front here, you wanna put birch buttons. Um, and then um, And then over here in this very corner where the door is, you wanna put a coarse dirt. Um, with a flower pot, uh, with a dead bush in it, and then oak leaves up top. That's just meant to be like a little plant. And then you want to do the same thing in this very corner over here. So you can see like in this corner here, you want to do the exact same thing. Um, these are just, of course, plants. Uh, oh, and then you want to do, um, I guess it really doesn't matter um, like what trap doors you use for this, but I'm going to use the dark oak just because that's how I did it in the original. I'm going to just stay true to the original and just Put the dark oak trap door around it but you can do any kind of trap door around it uh you can do the spruce since you already have it i guess makes sense um paper okay so now the next thing you're going to want to do uh is you're going to want to grab a bookshelf and then you just want to put a uh, row of bookshelves above here and then this is where you want the uh the trap door around the entire thing all right just like that okay um and then next right here um you want to leave a gap of one for the door uh, you want to put a bookshelf, gap of two, two bookshelf, gap of two, and then a bookshelf. All right, and then you want to replace your dark oak trap door with your polished blackstone stairs. And then you obviously just want to put the polished blackstone stairs. These are obviously meant to be like if the students are sent to the office, this is where they sit. Um, and then if I can find them, we need a bookshelf, uh, or not bookshelf, um, item frames just kind of along here. And then um, a book uh, in them. So like this is like the books that they can read while they're waiting. So it's kind of like a, a school waiting room. That's kind of what this is, if you think about it. And then above the door here, if you want, you can go ahead and put the clock and speaker here. Um, 
Like, so it may not want to, cause usually they'll do the announcements like in the main office or sometimes a principal will do it in here. Um, so it kind of depends on where you want like the speaker for the, um, but I think I put it in here in the main office. Okay, next you want to go ahead and um, on this like table here, you want to put like an item frame with a paper, um, flower pot, and then whatever flower you want, and then some sea pickles. The paper, I guess, is meant to be um, like applications, I guess, to sign up for stuff or whatever. Oops, sorry about that. Um, here, move my can of soda out of the way. Apologies. Um, but anyways, once you have um, done that, you want to come to this wall here. You want to go ahead and make um just some paintings here and it doesn't obviously matter what paintings you put in here but yeah just you know just some paintings on that wall right there um all right and then next uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this desk um so the way we're gonna do this is you're gonna grab dark oak wood planks dark oak wood stairs <clears throat> uh, excuse me and then the a uh, dark oak uh, trap door and then go ahead and grab light gray shulker box gray shulker box uh oh we need the bookshelf the smooth quartz slab and then the uh the that thing <laughs> i'm just gonna call it that thing because i literally have no idea um but anyways once you've done that so yeah um all right so the way you want to do this is um so you see where we have like um like this area that's between the window and the door right this like row of like terracotta and like gray terracotta right you're gonna leave a gap of two from it and then from here you just want to uh actually you want to grab go and grab the light gray cart light gray carpet i don't know if i told you to grab that or not but yeah grab light gray carpet and then just put a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven light gray carpet going towards that wall there with the paintings. And then just behind the light gray carpet, you're going to kind of like leave a gap of two or sorry, a gap of one from either side and then just put a row of uh, um, of uh, dark oak wood planks. And then you just want to put up upside down quartz stairs um, on either side of it. Um, and then, uh, what you're going to want to do next is, let me go ahead and get rid of the wood here. Sorry, I don't want it in the floor like this, but and then once you've, yes, yeah, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab, um, dark oak wood planks, leave a gap one, dark oak wood planks, and then you want to do the same thing on the other side like that. And then between the dark oak wood planks, you want to put, um, the, uh, dark oak trap door. And then that's pretty much how you make the, like build the desk there. And then just behind this, you want to put uh, light gray shulker box on either side and then dark gray in the middle and then you just want to go up by two or sorry up by one I'm not very good at words <laughs> uh, and then I think it's yeah I think it's yeah three um, uh, oak slab on top and then two bookshelf and then a whatever that is on top on the side just like that um, and then um, uh, item frame and then a smooth stone slab um, and then you just want to put item frames on the shulker boxes here. And then um, the smooth stone slab. That's meant to be like filing cabinets. Um, like that. And then, um, yeah, so you can see we've gotten a pretty good majority of the main office done here. Um, so now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to grab um, polished blackstone stairs. You're going to want to grab quartz stairs, weighted pressure plate, and then stone button. And you're also going to want to grab painting. Um, so... I'm not exactly sure how these... Uh, okay, so I think... Yeah, okay, so now I figured it out. Okay, at least I think I did. <laughs> um, oh, unless... Hang on, are the desks... Are the chairs like that? I think they're like this. Honestly, it makes more sense if they're like this. So yeah, you want to put like a, um, a, a dark oak... Wood, or I'm so dumb. You know what kind of stair that is. And then just an oak stair, like the back facing it like this, as you guys can see. Um, and then just a uh, pressure plate on one side, button on the other. It's just uh, meant to be a computer painting on the front of it like this um oh it's got to be on the uh, other side here sorry about that and yeah and then those are of course just some computers you know those teachers can do work um and then just along the desk i mean you can put like flower pot um in the middle here go ahead and put an item frame with the papers it's like if a oops not that paper there we go it's like if a student needs to sign out they can like sign out there and like go home i guess or whatever um and then, oops, sorry guys, uh, the last thing you want to do for the main office is honestly pretty simple. You want to just put a, a red tool, you want to just put like a flower on the end here. Uh, you can even put a flower over here. It really doesn't matter how you decorate this desk, um, but like I have it decorated like a certain way, but it really doesn't matter how you decorate it. Um, you can put like a candle here um, on the side if you want, and then over here maybe you can put like a... Uh, like, uh, like one of these maybe, or actually you could also have a, a creeper head, or, just, or not creeper head, 
or yeah, creeper head, whatever kind of head you want, really. Um, like you can put it, maybe put it like right here. Uh, really doesn't matter. And if you do want like to have like the morning announcements in here, um, go ahead and put like a lever. Um, you can kind of put a lever like on either side. Oops, on either side of this, that could be like a microphone for them to speak for like the morning morning announcements. So yeah, just kind of decorate it however you want. But yeah, that's and that's literally like that's the entire main office complete. So now. Uh, why don't we head into, let's go ahead and do the uh, nurse's office. Okay, y'all, so to make the nurse's office, you're going to need painting, oak sign, white bed, uh, polished blackstone stairs, block of iron, iron trap door, blue ice, iron frame, bookshelf, quartz stairs, dark oak wood planks, stone button, birch button, clock, monster spawner, tripwire hook, white stained glass, uh, gray carpet, stone stairs, jungle wood stairs, Brewing stand, flower pot, sea pickle, armor stand, skeleton school, chain, uh, chest plate, leggings, and boots. So once you have grabbed all of that, um, go ahead and grab the armor stand, the skeleton head, and of course this is going to be annoying. Uh, and then grab all of the chain um, items. Uh, this may take a while since it's a bit, it's being a bit tricky right now, but. Um, and then you're going to come to where the door is right here, right? And then you're going to come put an armor stand in the corner. Put skeleton skull up top and then chain chest plate leggings and the boots um this is kind of meant to look like just a skeleton like one of those like plastic skeletons like in the corner you know i don't know if real nurses offices usually have these but um you know i don't go as an i've almost never been to the nurse's office honestly um but yeah that's yeah that's something i figured they'd have in like the corner just kind of look like a you know because it's like a a health like room i don't know whatever anyways um and then go ahead and grab the clock the monster spawner and the item frame and you guys already know you you should know by now clock and then the speaker for morning announcements um excuse me and now uh you're gonna grab a bed oak sign um go ahead and grab <coughs> excuse me um go ahead and grab blackstone stairs um <coughs> oh my goodness sorry guys um Sorry, headphone users. Um, and then go and grab. Um, actually, let's not grab bookshelf. Let's grab the. Um, let's grab the jungle wood stair, jungle wood planks, the stone stairs, um, tripwire hook, a uh, white stained glass, and then the gray carpet. So, uh, once you've grabbed that, you're gonna come to this back wall where we have the window, right? And then you're gonna come like where. So we have like three blocks here, right? Uh, you're gonna come to this middle block here or wait no actually no the bed's actually in the very corner what am i saying yeah the bed's in the very corner and then there's just like oak signs around it um i, I don't know why i just thought it looked better like this way um but yeah that's kind of what you can always remove the signs if you don't like that it, it just kind of adds detail because i mean this room kind of needs it and then just right beside i put a chair this is kind of like you know for the nurse to kind of sit and check on the uh patient give them you know an ice pack and all that um, all right, and then you're going to come to where we have the door here. You're going to come to this corner and then you're just going to put a jungle or a jungle wood, uh, stone stair, and then another jungle wood, uh, behind the stone stair, you're going to put a truck bar hook. That's obviously a sink. Um, and then just above all this, you're going to put, um, white stained glass with gray carpet on top and then truck bar hook on the front. And those are obviously meant to be cabinets where they could store like actual medicine and not just, you know, probably just ice packs. Um, speaking of the ice packs, um, we're gonna just, we're gonna go ahead and grab the iron, the block iron, the iron trap door, the blue ice, and then the, um, item frame. Um, so you're gonna put two block of irons just one block away from where the sink is. Um, in the front of it, item frames, ice, and then just trap or hook, uh, or sorry, not trap or hook. Um, iron trap door on top, that's meant to be a chest full of ice packs. <laughs> just to kind of run with the gag of, you know, they always gotta have, um ice packs and that's actually where they would like keep ice packs i think or unless they i don't know like i said i've never been to the nurse's office pretty much like i've almost like as far as i can remember i've never been to the nurse's office so i don't know like where they actually keep them they have like a freezer or like an actual chest like this but i just this was mainly just for the gag that you know no matter what injury you have they'll always give you an ice pack um all right and then go ahead and grab um birch button and then you're just gonna put birch button on the front of the um the uh, jungle wood um and then what else and then you want to grab brewing stand and then just beside these you want to grab put the brewing stands okay so to make the principal's office you're going to need a loom red carpet crimson trap door 
flowered azalea leaves, or honestly just whatever leaves you want. Dead bush, bookshelf, polished blackstone stairs, chiseled nether bricks, uh, flower pot, uh, painting, book, item frame, bamboo, soul lantern, smooth quartz slab, lever, spruce trap door, a shrubulet, or honestly just whatever flower you want. I'm, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Um, cut candle, um, pre um, weighted pressure plate, uh, quartz stairs, stone button, dark oak wood slab, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak trap door, dark oak wood planks, and then you also need a clock. Um, and then of course, if you know, you might also need the uh, monster spawner if you're doing the like microphone for the money mass ones in the main office. Um, but for me, I'm actually going to have it in here in the principal's office. It just seems like a, a better place for it. So, um, some materials you're going to need right now, you're going to need, uh, go and grab bookshelf, you're going to need polished blackstone stairs, you're going to need chiseled nether bricks, dead bush, uh, and then your flowered, uh, leaves, or just whatever leaves, again, I don't know why I keep saying flowered leaves, uh, your red carpet, um, what else will you need, um, I think that's about, oh yeah, you'll also need your crimson trapdoor, and then your loom, um, oh, and then of course your flower pot. Okay, so... So I, as you can see, I kind of laid, laid, laid out everything. Okay, so from the door here, um, so just beside the glass here, you're gonna do a bookshelf. Mm. Excuse me, two, excuse me, two blackstone stairs, and then a bookshelf. All right, and then, and then obviously just lay some red carpet in front of that. I don't know why I put the red carpet there already, but all right, and then in the corner and also by the way the conference room door actually wants to be moved over so that it's one block away from the wall um so yeah i do apologize about that you're gonna have to move this whole thing over it really doesn't take very long so that's good um but yeah in the corner of these two doors here you're gonna want to put a chiseled uh, another brick and then just place a flower pot on top a dead bush and then just your leaves it's just meant to be one of those big plants that usually you know are in like the offices and stuff and then you know just same thing over here um as well all right and then one block away from this plant um you're gonna want to put um uh, three rows of bookshelves and then uh, go ahead and put crimson trap door around it you can honestly do any trap door i just thought crimson kind of just you know it was different you know it just kind of me it just kind of worked i guess and then um as an as an added detail you can kind of knock out some bookshelves here and there and then just um put um a loom and this was an idea from TSMC um so shout out to him but this it's meant to look like you know like some parts of the shelf are empty um and then other parts are not so that's kind of you know you can put as many of those you can have a fully empty bookshelf if you want so or just have one part that's empty you know so you can customize that however you'd like but yeah I just thought that was a really nice added detail um and then yeah, so now we can put all these materials away. Uh, well, some of them we may have to grab back, like the, the polished blackstone stair we're going to need again. Um, all the dark uh, oak materials and as well as the spruce trap door. Uh, go ahead and grab the item frame and clock. And then uh, what else will we need? Will we need? Um, uh, you know what? Let's just stick with these materials for now. We'll work on, we'll work with everything else later. Actually, you know what? Grab painting. Grab painting. We'll do, go ahead and put paintings. Um, and then just, you know, above the door, put a, uh, item frame and a clock. And then if you're, um, not having like the microphone for the morning announcements in here, then, you know, put another item frame and then a speaker. Um, it just doesn't make sense to have the speaker in the same room where they're doing in the morning announcements. It just, you know, really doesn't make any sense. So, um, so yeah, I would recommend not having the speaker in the room where it's, you know, they're already doing the morning announcements, but yeah, then everything else, you know, everywhere else obviously has the speaker. Um, painting, um... You know, just kind of put a painting above here, um, also uh, over here. Just wherever you can see that you can add a painting, just go ahead and put a painting. Um, yeah, that's about it for over here. Um, I think we can add one like this. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, good. Okay, so now for the desk, um, you can see where we have this uh, dark oak um, space. Well, at least for me, not for you guys, obviously. But one block away from the plant here, you're going to want to do a... Um, upside down uh, dark oak stair, um, and then a trap door, and then a uh, dark oak wood plank. All right, and then you're gonna have slab going all the way until it is one block away from the wall, and then you're just gonna have a dark oak wood stair facing into the slab. Um, now I have to delete um, um, this uh, gray carpet because it looks gross. 
or not great carpet, the uh, the dark oak wood, or dark oak, whatever. You guys, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> um, okay, and now that we've done that, you can go ahead and put a uh, polished blackstone stair behind here, and then just put some spruce trap doors on the side just for added detail. And then as well as in front of here, just put some, just put two, uh, two stairs here. And actually, you can have them kind of, uh, well, actually, no, I'd recommend them having right here. Um, and then, yeah, those just be regular chairs. Um, and yeah, these are obviously, so, you know, if the kids are, you know, are bad, they have to come to principal's offices where they can sit and talk to the principal, or if, you know, they're, the parents get called to the school and they have to go meet the principal if their kid did something bad, you know, that's where they sit. And then, um, this is obviously where the student will sit to wait for the principal, you know, just, yeah. So that's kind of what all these chairs are for. And obviously this is where the principal sits. Okay. So now we will put all this stuff away. Now we're going to grab, um, a quartz, quartz slab the bamboo, um, the flower pot, um, oh, and then the item frame and books, and then, yeah, that's all we'll need for right now, and then just above here, um, just in this, like, three block space here, you're gonna want to put, uh, oops, sorry, it has to be right here, so it has to be, like, you know, one full block from the ceiling, uh, you want to put a row of slab, and then item frame, and then books, um, oh, I did not mean to do that, Oh, and also go ahead and grab a soul lantern. So soul lantern here, and it could honestly be any lantern. I just thought soul lantern just looked good. Um, and then obviously flower pot and bamboo. Again, it doesn't have to be bamboo either. I thought bamboo was like different, looked re really good. Kind of fit with the vibe of this room. Um, so yeah, just, you know, do that. Um, and now, um, what else will we need? Uh, will we need, uh, okay, so white candle, weighted pressure plate, quartz stairs, stone button. Um... Oh, and then, yeah, painting for the screen and the computer. Um, flower pot, um, and then any kind of flower you want. All right, so just in front of the principal's um, chair, you're going to want to put a, a, a quartz stair facing into here. Uh, stone button on the side. Weighted pressure plate. And then just some candles on this side. And then a uh, flower pot and a uh, flower on that side. And then if uh, you're using this room for the morning announcements, just a lever facing into the principal's chair. That's going to be like where they speak into the morning announcements, just like what we did in the main office. Uh, if you're doing it in the main office, then yeah. But I feel like the principal's office is honestly just the better place for it. It just, it just makes more sense, honestly, that the principal's doing the morning announcements. So, but yeah, so that's like, yeah, so where they speak in the microphone. Oh, and then yeah, the painting is obviously for the computer screen. Uh, it's pretty tight back here, so you have to get that to work. But and then, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the entire principal's office completed. Um, feel free to do whatever you want with this room. Like, you know, change the paintings or, well, not change the painting. You can change the color of the carpet, flowers, whatever. But yeah, and customize that bookshelf, like I said, however you'd like. But yeah, I mean, this looks really good in here. So yeah, and now uh, let's go ahead and work on the conference room. Okay, guys, so to make the conference room, you're going to need a clock, item frame, monster spawner, bookshelf, item trap door, polish andesite stairs, dark oak button, painting, white banner, brewing stand, flower pot, sea pickle, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stairs, trap wire hook, pink dye, empty map, barrel, uh, azalea leaves, or again, just any leaves you want, red carpet, dead bush, polished black, polished black stone stairs, spruce wood planks, polished andesite, and chiseled nether bricks. All right, so... Right off the bat, we're gonna need the clock, the item frame, and the monster spawner. You guys already know where this is going. I don't even know how to explain it. All right, and then next, uh, we're gonna need the bookshelves, the iron trap door, the polished andesite stairs, the dark oak button, the white banner, the painting, uh, and then the polished andesite. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go ahead and just stick with those. All right, so um, just one block away, like from the glass here, all right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna grab a put a, a polished andesite, and then um, beside that we're gonna put a polished andesite stair with a iron trap door on top of that. On top of the uh, polished andesite block, we're gonna put a white banner, and then in front of it a dark oak button, and then just above the, all that, you're just gonna put like just a, some a row of bookshelves there. Sorry about my off angle cam, whatever you want to say, camera. Um, all right, and then for the paintings, uh, you're going to just simply put some um, two by two paintings just simply uh, one block away from each side of these walls here, um, just like that. And then, um, all right, and then go ahead and grab the 
Uh, let's actually go ahead and grab uh, Polished Blackstone Stairs and actually go ahead and grab back your white banner. I completely forgot um, about this. Uh, and then go ahead and grab your red carpet, your smooth quartz slab, and then your quartz stairs. Um, and then we'll just stick with those. So with your white banner, uh, which we should have done while well, we had the white banner, I suppose. Um, so like just one block away from the paintings, um, you're going to simply just put a row of white banners and then just one block away from each painting and then just um, above that another row. So this is actually meant to be like the like big whiteboard that they would like write stuff on. I was originally, I, I wanted to do a block whiteboard, but there just wasn't enough room. As you can already see, as you can see, this room is pretty, pretty cramped. So you know, it may be like big and long, but it is very thin, so I couldn't really do much in here. Um, so yeah, that's why I had to opt to doing a, um, um, just a, you know, just a, a banner whiteboard. And then just in front of this, uh, you want to like leave a gap of uh, one uh, from this side and then just put like three. This table is actually um, like not even with the board, so for all you OCD people, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... You can totally like make the chairs like different. Like you could probably just like spread the chairs out more like this, um, like that. So, you, so it's not like uneven, but honestly at this point for me, I don't really care. All right. And then once you have, yeah. And also the chairs obviously again, want to be like a gap of one from each other. So I'm sure you guys already knew that by now. All right. And then from this like space between the painting and the banner chair, you want to leave a gap of two and then put a chair and leave a gap of two from there and then go down by one and then just put a chair. So basically just directly in front of these chairs that we already put, you're gonna put uh, more chairs, but they wanna be a gap of three from each other. And then um, just directly in front of the of uh, this chair here, it wants to be like uh, where this last row of um, banners are. You wanna just go ahead and put that last chair. Um, and then from there, uh, in front of this like head chair here, you wanna just put uh, rope upside down uh, stairs and you want to do it to both of the head chairs here like this like uh, if I can do that there we go they the upside down stairs want to be like facing each other and then you just want to connect them together with slab very easy it's just a nice big table um, where the teachers can hold meetings and all sorts of stuff um, and then just put a row of red carpet in front of it or just just down the middle not in front of it I don't know why I said in front of it but once you've done that, you want to grab your chiseled nether bricks, you want to grab your dead bush, your flower pot, and then your leaves. And then just in this corner, we're going to make the same plant that we made in the principal's office. Um, so very simple there. All right, and then the last thing we have to do in this room is just make like a nice, like a big like counter like space with like a sink. Um, and it's just kind of like a place for storage and whatever. So you're going to need spruce wood planks, dark oak button. Um... You're going to need sea pickle, you're going to need flower pot, um, the trip wire hook, the pink dye, the empty map, the barrel, and then you're also going to need, um, oh, where is it, um, the polished andesite stairs. Alright, so just one block away from each window, so you see we have this window and this window, you want to leave a gap of one from each of those windows, and then just put a row of spruce. Um, and then on this left side here, you want to leave a gap of one from this spruce, and delete the spruce here, and then... Polished andesite stair, and then with just a tripwire hook up the top, or like just up top of it. Um, and then you want to just put dark oak buttons along the front of this, like so. And then just above all this, you want to just put a row of um, barrels. These are meant to be like cabinets. All right. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to replace the button with the uh, with some item frames. And then just beside the tripwire hook, you want to put a pink dye and an empty map. So this is obviously a sink. This is meant to be like a bar of soap, and then this is like a paper towel thing. Um, obviously, in real life, this wouldn't be a bar of soap. This would be like a soap dispenser, but that's kind of like, that's the same idea, basically. Um, and then just kind of, um, it really doesn't matter what you do for this. I just kind of put random storage. Um, I also put like a brewing stand. So this is like maybe where they like, where you, like they can like grab coffee and whatever. So that's kind of how I, that's kind of how I basically had it. It's like where they can grab coffee and whatever for the meeting. Um... Yeah, so I guess it's also kind of a teacher's lounge in a way. Um, you could totally make this a teacher's lounge if you want. Um, so this school doesn't have one, but if you want to make one, you could totally do that. If you don't want this to be a meeting room, you can make this. This is kind of mostly a like multi-purpose room. So this could be a meeting room, which I have it, or it can be teacher's lounge or maybe like a teacher break room. Like, you know, well, that's technically a teacher's lounge. What am I saying? Um, 
or yeah you know like a place where like the teacher can like the teachers can sit and eat lunch i guess whatever so yeah so that's that's just kind of what this room is but yeah and that's yeah that's that's how you make the the conference room guys we are like rapidly approaching the end of this interior like i mean we only have like three rooms left and it's like the three biggest rooms of the school so um so yeah well done guys but yeah so obviously as you can see as we're coming in here um this is we're gonna now do uh the cafeteria okay y'all so to make the lunch room you're gonna need um white concrete scaffolding quartz quartz stairs composter spruce trapdoor clock monster spawner item frame quartz slab leather brick fence painting spruce wood stair stairs spruce wood planks note block oak button milk birch trap door dark oak door lime carpet red carpet brown carpet pink carpet yellow carpet furnace grindstone stone cutter pillow quartz block trip bar hook bookshelf lantern and water bucket so uh, once you have grabbed all of that, um, you may need to grab a chest if you, uh, if you so choose. It really doesn't matter if you grab a chest or not, but if it makes it easier, I recommend it. Um, and then once you've grabbed all that, go ahead and start off with your uh, scaffolding, um, your um, quartz stairs, your composter. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm still grabbing a chest. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> I should have already done this beforehand, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put all this in here, but yeah, grab, uh, what I just said to grab, and then, um, yeah, so honestly, I recommend grabbing a chest, because it's just gonna make this a whole lot easier, um, okay, I'm just gonna put the chest in here, because I don't feel like deleting it, <laughs> um, and then go to grab the clock, the monster spawner, the item frame, of course, uh, oh, and then the, uh, spruce chop door, I don't know if I told you guys to grab that, but, um, and then go ahead and grab, um, oh, where is it, did I not grab it? Oh, we need cauldron. How did, where the heck did I... I swear I grabbed that. Cauldron and then birch trap door is what we need. So yeah, go ahead and grab cauldron. Okay, so to make this, um, first of all, just right beside the glass here, you're going to want to just put the, the item frame and then, yeah, you guys already know where that's going. All right, and then below that pretty much, or just like one block away from the door here, you want to put two composter with a uh, spruce trap door on top. That's meant to be a garbage can. Um, the reason it's composter is because like uh, you can actually put food in here and it fills up, so it just looks like a garbage can. It just it honestly just makes sense for a garbage can. So it's probably the most like garbage can thing in Minecraft. So it just makes sense. All right, and then just between the doors here, you want to put a quartz stair, and then you just want to kind of put them in a circle like this, and then leave a gap of one and do the exact same thing. And then um, go right and do the exact same thing. Leave a gap of one. And yes, yeah, so this lunchroom is really, really small. It only fits as at most three tables. Um, you know, but it really, it still, I mean, it looks good in here still. And then, of course, put scaffolding in the middle of the, all this, all the stairs. And then uh, leaving a gap of, like, one from the, or sorry, leaving a gap of two, uh, no, leaving a gap of three from the like garbage can basically. And then going down, you're gonna dig out one, two, three blocks, fill it up with white concrete, and then extend to the right by one, two, three, four, and then dig that out and put on white concrete. This is gonna be like the line separator. All right, go ahead and do that with your white concrete. Although I didn't tell you to grab white concrete, you may have to, you may want to, you may, you may want to do that later. Um, yeah, so one block away from the quartz, or sorry, two blocks away from those quartz stairs here, you want to put two cauldron, and then birch trap door on top, and then you want to put item frames in front of it. That's where we're gonna like. That's where you're gonna be able to like grab milk, um, once we grab the milk. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then once you have done that, actually go ahead and come into the kitchen here, and then just put a cauldron in the corner here. That's gonna be a sink. I figured just go ahead and put a cauldron there. All right, and then um, at this point, this is where you can grab your white concrete, you know, and do what I told you to do with the white concrete. Um, but I already did that, so just go ahead and grab the uh, dark oak door um, and the quartz slab. Uh, and then, of course, you guys know where the dark oak door is going. For the, that's where I'm going to go right there. And then just above this is where we're going to put the quartz slab. This is going to be like um, like where you grab your food. Um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, and then once you've done that, you want to grab the milk. Um, you want to grab uh, spruce wood planks, spruce wood stairs. You want to grab note block, oak button, item frame. Uh, what else do you want to grab? You want to grab uh, you want to grab paintings. You want to grab nether brick fence, and then you want to grab red carpet. And then where we have the uh, directly on top of all the white concrete here, you want to put the nether brick fence. And then just along the nether brick fence, you want to put like uh, the red carpet. This is where like this is like how the line's gonna like go 
through there. And then the item frames on the cauldrons, obviously with the milk, this is like meant to be that like big chest where they grab like, where you grab like a carton of milk. Um, and then right here, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and just put the, uh, um, so literally just directly in front of this uh, milk carton here, uh, or this milk chest, I'm gonna call it the milk chest, I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, you're gonna put a spruce plank kind of like, um, or sorry, you wanna put the spruce plank like um, on the right side like this. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna put a, uh, spru a, smooth, a spruce stair, like upside down spruce stair facing into it. Um, and then um, on top of the planks, you wanna put an item frame with a, a note block. This is like, um, so I don't know if um, all of you, I mean, most American schools at least do this. Like you come through, once you grab all your food, it's like where you punch in your lunch number and then there's like a, a person here that tells you if you can go or not, whatever. It's just kinda, that's kinda what that's meant to be. Um, if you don't like that, this can also be like where you can grab like napkins and stuff. You can use like a paper for a napkin. You can grab like a, put like a, um, like a, uh, flower pot here and that could be like where you grab silverware but i put this for this kind of inspired by like most of the schools i've been to like where you have to punch in a lunch number uh and then the uh, oak button just goes in front of here it's meant to be like a drawer like where they can store cash or whatever um um and then uh you want to grab quartz stairs and then just on the top of this you want to put a quartz stair like facing to this wall here and then of course you know the painting that's meant to be like the little like computer that they type on like the lunch person um, and yeah, that's what that's meant to be. But of course, like I said, this can be something totally different. All right. And then for the paintings, of course, I mean, you guys should have already figured this out by now. Um, this is like where, you know, you put paintings, like, cause obviously in lunchrooms, I'll usually have like paintings all around the school, like all kinds of posters and whatever, telling you to like eat healthy and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what that is meant to be. It could also be like, um, like events for the school, like if the school is having some sort of special event. Um, this is kind of, I guess, where they would, like, um, um, you know, just kind of, um, put the posters around, let the, let the students know that something's going on, but, but yeah, that's, uh, that's just kind of, you know, the paintings really don't matter where, the, it doesn't matter, like, where the paintings all go, it just, uh, you know, kind of put, oops, that's not what I meant to do, um, but yeah, I mean, really, really simple. Just kind of just throw some paintings around. Really doesn't matter. But yeah, I mean, that's uh, also if you want to put like um, like carpet on top of the scaffolding, make those look better. That'll that, uh, that's a good that's an option for you. But yeah, that's pretty much like the lunchroom completed. But the kitchen is not completed, so we should probably go and do that. Um, which I don't know why I'm in here. I don't even have the materials. Wow. Um, okay, so go ahead and put all the materials away. Right, all the materials, um, and then go ahead and grab all of the colored carpet right, all the carpet, and then you want to grab cauldrons, you want to grab, um, you want to grab furnace, grindstone, stone cutter, and that's all we can fit right now, <laughs> um, okay, so directly behind this window, you just want to put a uh, cauldron, and then just kind of, honestly, it really doesn't matter what carpet you put in here, um, just some random, like, carpet, uh, it's meant to be, like, the food, obviously, you know, the, they would, they would scoop up, put on a tray, and whatever, and then just like one block away from the wall here, you just want to put a row of yellow carpets, just meant to be for decoration. Um, and then on this left wall here, you want to do two furnace, go up by one, just like that. And then directly beside it, you want to put a stone cutter with a grindstone on top. All right. And then, um, oh, and then the cauldron, if you haven't already put that on the side there. Um, but I think I already told you guys to do that before. All right, and then put everything away and then grab um, pillar quartz block. You wanna grab a trap wire hook. You wanna grab smooth quartz slab. Um, what else will you need? You'll need, um, ugh, why am I forgetting? Uh, oh yeah, you need bookshelf and then a lantern. Um, oh, and you need water bucket too for the sink. You're gonna need water bucket. All right, come to the kitchen again. Uh, just directly beside all this, you wanna put, um, oops, you wanna put two, um, um, pillow quartz block on top of this, uh, and then you want to put a, uh, a slab on top, and then just a trap wire hook, um, on the right side here, this is meant to be, like, a big, giant, like, refrigerator, and then beside this, you want to put a bookshelf with a lantern on top, and then, um, and then a trap wire hook above the cauldron with, um, water bucket in the cauldron, and, yeah, that's obviously meant to be a sink, this is just storage, and then, like, all kinds of, like, equipment to make the food, so yeah, um, and that's the kitchen. Really, really simple, honestly. And that is the entire cafeteria completed. So yeah, uh, really, really cool, guys. Uh, so now, I mean, we're, again, rapidly approaching the end of the school. It's honestly insane. So, so yeah, now we will work on the uh, library. 
So to make the library, you're going to need dark oak wood planks, jungle wood stairs, white carpet scaffolding, bookshelf, pillow quartz block, birch wood slab, spruce wood slab, lantern, a uh, book, item frame, stone button, weighted pressure plate, painting, birch trap door, spruce wood stairs, excuse me, red carpet, iron trap door, con uh, that thing, <laughs> I'm just going to call it that thing because I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, clock, monster spawner, and then just uh, the flags uh, from earlier. Um, and then once you have grabbed all that, we're going to go ahead and start with, of course, the bookshelf. I mean, that should have been, that should always be the first thing, excuse me, we start with. Um, and then dark oak wood planks. And then jungle wood stairs, scaffolding, and then the white carpet. Um, and then we'll go ahead and grab the pillow quartz block, the birch wood slab, um, the, the spruce wood uh, stairs, and then the spruce wood slab. Okay, so to start off the library, you're going to come to, uh, so you can see, like, uh, where we're at in the library, you're going to come to this window right here. You're going to leave a gap, so basically, actually, uh, to make this easier, you're going to leave a gap of one from this window and this window. So these two big windows here that are actually on the front of the school, you're going to leave a gap of one from each window and just going to put a row of three uh, bookshelves, just like this, all right? And next, you're going to leave a gap of one, uh, and then just as long as this bookshelf, you're going to put a row of two uh, bookshelves, uh, and not three, um, just like this. All right. And then those are pretty much like the main like bookshelves. And the reason these bookshelves are shorter, it's meant to be like, you know, cause obviously there's just going to be like kindergartners and preschoolers going to the school. So this is so like, you know, it's, you know, they can reach them easier, obviously. So, all right. And then, uh, you see where we have this entrance right here, you're going to leave a gap of one, uh, from this door here, or sorry, well, te yeah, technically it's a gap of one. And then, uh, you're just going to put a row of one, two, three, four, uh, dark oak wood planks like that. All right. Uh, and then we'll work on that a little later. Um, that's meant to be the checkout desk, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. All right. And then from this entrance right here, you're going to simply leave a gap of two and then just going to put four bookshelf like that and then extend up by two, just like that. And then that's just, again, just one, another bookshelf. All right. And then from this same entrance, you're simply just going to put, um, um, hang on. Let me go ahead and uh, get rid of this wood here on the flooring. All right, you're going to put a uh, upside down spruce stair like this. All right, and then um, just on the other side here on this wall, you're going to put spruce stair and then just uh, connect them together with spruce slab, just like that. All right, and then from this bookshelf here, you're going to simply leave a gap of two and then you're going to put birch wood slab on the top half of the gray terracotta. You're going to put four, by the way. Uh, and then you're going to put two rows of horizontal pillar quartz block on the top. And this is, of course, the whiteboard. Um, the reason for this is, like, I don't know if you guys uh, have this in, like, any other, like, country school or whatever. But, um, or, or any of y'all's elementary school. But I remember in my elementary school, um, we would sit around, like, a whiteboard. And they would, um, I don't know, I guess give us lessons on books. I don't know. I don't even remember what they taught us. I was always, like, not paying attention to that, like, that kind of part of the lessons because it was so boring but all right so now to make the tables um you're going to come to this bookshelf right here you're going to leave a gap of you're going to go in by three right leave a gap of one and then you're going to just put a uh the just like in the lunchroom you're going to put um some jungle tape just some jungle like stairs um going around in a circle and then scaffolding and white carpet all right, and then from this very stair right here, you're gonna leave a gap of two and then go in by one. And then again, do the same thing, go in a circle and then scaffolding white carpet. And then there you go, that's how you make those tables. Very, very easy. And then just from this um, like whiteboard here, basically you're gonna leave a gap of one and then just put a row of um, red carpet as big as the whiteboard. And then you're just gonna put three more rows going down like that. That's how you make that carpet. And, uh, yeah, and as you can see, we've already done, like, a huge majority of the library. Like, there's only a couple things we need to do now. It's, uh, so, just from those materials, we did, like, 80% of the library. So, really easy. Um, all right, so now we just need a book, a uh, item frame, a clock, and a monster spawner. I actually forgot to uh, put those. Uh, I, think this, I think it's above, I don't even know where it's at. I think, yeah, it's above the, the door here, um, the monster spawner, the clock, and the speaker. So you can put the clock and the monster spawner away now. Uh, go ahead and grab the flags if you haven't already and just put them beside the whiteboard. Um, just like that. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, now we can actually start grabbing stuff when I have to put them back. All right, uh, so we're going to grab that thing. <laughs> 
lantern, mm, excuse me, lantern, iron trap door, uh, let's see, painting, uh, we're gonna need the weighted pressure plate, the stone button, and, oh, I don't know why I don't have quartz stairs, we're gonna need that, quartz stairs, it's probably one of the biggest things we're gonna need, all right, and then once you've grabbed, uh, all of that, um, you're gonna come to the checkout desk, right, on the right here, you're gonna put a lantern, um, and then just here, you're gonna put a, a quartz stairs facing back, and then, um, oh, and then actually beside this, you're gonna put a item frame with a book in it. Um, okay, actually, the stair wants to actually be um, on the very end here, and then this just wants to be a pressure plate like that, or actually, it could be a stone button. It really doesn't matter. I actually kind of recommend a stone button there. Um, and then um, you obviously wanna put a screen on this because this is gonna be a computer, so you wanna just put a painting. And there you go, that's the checkout desk completed. Um, and then if we come over here, uh, you wanna leave like a gap of one from each side here and then just put, uh, or actually, yeah, just leave a gap of one from each side and then just put quartz stairs and then just put one in the middle, all facing, like the backs facing outward, as you guys can see here. And then just kinda like put, um, just kinda like, you know, the pressure plate button, pressure plate button. Uh, and then of course, you wanna be able to put the paintings on the, on here just like so like that all right and then uh and then we want to just put um i'm not sure how we do this actually um okay go ahead and put away the book go ahead and grab bookshelf again <laughs> uh i think let's see i think it's literally just like a, a row of three in the middle and then it's like two bookshelf and then it's like uh this thing on it yeah, something like, yeah, so yeah, it is like that, okay, it really doesn't matter, like, where you put it, I actually kind of recommend it, like, just in the middle, like that, but yeah, so there you go, that's like a shelf, basically, just kind of a random shelf, and then, of course, I don't know why I didn't grab this either, you're gonna want blackstone stairs, uh, just in front of the computers, just like that, and then also, you may want to put one behind the computer of the checkout desk as well, and, uh, yeah, um, that, guys, that's, that's the library completed, so, I mean, it's honestly, uh, honestly really, really easy. So, um, yeah, so guys, we are so close to being done. We only have one room left of the school to complete. And yes, I know this is a very long tutorial. Uh, I apologize about that. Um, but honestly, though, this does honestly take a while. So I really can't blame myself too much for that. Uh, but yeah, so now, the last but not least, the gym. All right, y'all, so to make the gym, um, you're gonna need uh, orange concrete, red concrete, blue wool, painting, torch, polished inside stairs, trip wire hook, warp stairs, white concrete, clock, item frame, monster spawner, polished blackstone button, warp slab, lime concrete, blue concrete, yellow concrete, cobweb. Um, you're gonna need, um, so to make like, when, the, when you make the American flag, uh, do the part with the stripes uh, and then just save that banner and then, um, make that same banner, but then make half of it, like the top half of it, um, um, blue, uh, blue. So yeah. Um, yeah, so you'll make those two. Um, and then you'll need, uh, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, uh, iron bars, lantern, composter, spruce trap door, black concrete. Oh, whatever. Just grab it. Blue, black concrete, stone button, oak sign, pillar quartz block, dark oak wood slab, uh, and then the flags. So yeah, all right, here we go. So, oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so materials you're gonna need right now are, uh, you're gonna wanna grab the, uh, the, hang on, I'm gonna put this in my inventory. I'm gonna need that at some point. Uh, white concrete, you're gonna need red concrete, you're gonna need blue wool, uh, you're gonna need a uh, polished andesite stairs, you're gonna need trip bar hook, you're gonna need warp stairs, you're gonna need warp slab, and go ahead and grab, grab composter and spruce trap, spruce trap dorks, why not? All right. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, start off, we'll go ahead and just do the water fountains. Um, so as you can see, so the, the door that's closest like to the front door here, as you can see, uh, you're gonna leave a gap of one, and then you're just gonna put an upside down polished end size stair with a trap wire hook up top, gap of two, and then do the same thing. Those are, of course, water fountains. Uh, do the same thing on the other side, so gap of one from this door, uh, and then just make the water fountain, gap of two, water fountain, so. I don't even have to explain how to make it. You guys already know it's really easy. So, all right. And then we'll go ahead and now make the bleachers. So you're going to leave a gap of one from the door here, right? And then you're going to come out by one or one, two, and then you're going to put a warp stair. And then you're going to just do the same thing on this other side here. So leave a gap of one from the water fountain. Um, and then you're just going to come out uh, by two, 
then put the warped stair. All right, and then uh, you're just gonna connect it together with a warped slab, just like so, right? All right, and then you're just gonna have uh, the quart, the not quartz, what am I saying? The warp stairs go up uh, like this, like up to the top of the, like up to the wall here, like so. All right, and then you're simply just gonna connect together with um, the, uh, you guys know what this is, um, the, yeah, so the slab. And then, yeah, and that's literally it. That's how you make uh, a single bleacher. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and really, you don't even have to count. You literally can just line this up. Uh, from the first stair so and then just put the stairs and then just um drag them up to this to the top of the wall and literally just uh do this exact same thing on the other side just um line it up again make sure they're like two blocks out from the wall so that you can uh just yeah so very easy uh and then again just connect together with slabs so um yeah honestly just probably the easiest uh probably just really easy these bleachers are like i said really easy so I don't, know, I don't know why I keep repeating myself. I'm really good at that. I'm really good at just repeating myself. Okay, so, yeah, just connect these together. Really easy. Um, all right, now, 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 that, ugh, now that you have made the bleachers, uh, sorry, this is really out of frame here, uh, we're going to go ahead and make all the lines on the ground. So the way to do that, we're going to start off with um, uh, these, uh, these white lines. So you're going to come to this water fountain here, right? Uh, you're going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then dig out a block and then put the white concrete. And then you're literally going to do this, the exact same thing on this other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, leave a gap of six on the seventh block, put a white concrete. All right. And then from those white concretes, you want to dig out, um, going from it by going down, like by one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I dug that out and did that, but all right, and you're gonna come out by six on both sides. So I don't even have to count here, but all right, just like that. And then you're gonna do a bottom diagonal from each. Uh, so like from here, you're gonna do a bottom right, and then from here, you're gonna do a bottom left. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing um, again, and then just connect them together like that. So honestly, pretty simple. Uh, and then you literally just do the exact same thing on the other side. So from the door here, you wanna leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the and then the seventh block, and then again, six, and then seventh block, come out by six from those white concretes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then same thing on the other side. And literally, again, just the exact same thing. And then, um, you know, bottom two, bottom diagonals, and then connect together at the bottom the most bottom diagonal and there you go that's kind of like um it kind of looks like a basketball court you know most of the gyms usually have that all right so now uh from this row of white concrete here you're going to simply just leave a gap of three and then you're just going to put a full row of white concrete and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so literally again just leave a gap of three and then just put a row of white concrete again just as long as this and then you're going to do a bottom and then from each of those um uh, rows here you're going to kind of do uh, diagonals like going into each other like this um, and then you're just going to put um, rows of white concrete like that so you can kind of see that we're making this circle like big circle basically and yeah and that's how you make uh, those lines all right so now we're going to work on uh, the red line that like goes all the way around the gym so uh, so from so you're going to come to this row of white concrete right you're going to simply go down by one two and then go out by one, two, and then just do a red concrete. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So come down by one, two, and then go one, two. All right, and then um, on the other side here, you wanna come down one, two, one, two. All right, and then one, two, one, two. All right, and then you wanna simply just connect um, the red concrete all the red concretes together but you do not want to like uh like dig through here like this you want to make sure that the white concrete um still stays intact so you still want the like the white concrete to kind of come like um on top of it if that makes any sense i don't know if that makes any sense but yeah you just kind of yeah you just do not dig out any concrete that you see only dig out the the gym flooring uh whatever you used um which is obviously should be wood um because that's how all gym floorings are they're all wood so uh yeah so now that you've done that you have made the lines of the gym which uh they which just looks really good 
So now for these like big mats that they have on the walls, um, and you can make this any color you want, by the way. Also this line that you just traced could be any color, doesn't have to be red. Um, and also the bleachers could be any color as well. So, um, but yeah, so literally just between the white lines, you just want to put a row of wool uh, and then you just want to uh, extend up. I think it's by three. Yeah, extend up by three. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So again, um, between the white concretes, you want to just put three rows of wool um, going all the way to the top, just like that. And there you go. There are two big mats. Uh, I really don't know what these mats are for. I, I've seen them in all the schools that I've been to. I have no idea what they're for, but um, nonetheless, they're, they're cool, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so, and then finally for a garbage can, you're just gonna come to this door here, leave a cap of two, and then, excuse me, composter, and then, yeah, that trap door. So, all right, and now once you have done that, um, you can put all these materials away. I'm gonna have to go to the chest. So you guys can see we've already done a good majority of the gym already. I mean, we've done kind of the big parts already, so like all the biggest parts have been done. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and grab the smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, you're gonna wanna grab red concrete, uh, cobweb, um, then um, iron bars, torch, painting, lantern, and then go ahead and grab, hmm, let's go ahead and grab the spruce trap door back. I don't know why I still, I don't know why I got rid of it, honestly. So, all right, so with your spruce trap door, you're gonna come to, uh, so you can see, you're gonna come to this very uh, bleacher right here, right? Uh, you're gonna come to these like two middle blocks here, right? You can kind of see, so like where the stair is, right? And then there's like the, this like gap of two behind it. Uh, so from there, you're gonna leave a gap of two, or well, technically you're gonna leave a gap of one, and then you're gonna put uh, two uh, trap doors and flip them up. And then uh, you're just going to kind of make like a two by two box, just like this. This is going to be a tub where they like put all the like sport balls. Uh, I know that sounded sus, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then you're literally just going to do the exact same thing, leaving a gap of one from the previous one you made. Uh, and honestly, I like the, I honestly like the spruce bottom like this because it kind of actually looks like, you know, because if you, so if you wanted one that was empty, you know, it wouldn't have the flooring and then it wouldn't look so, yeah. If you want to make it empty, actually go ahead and put the spruce in there but i actually kind of recommend actually putting some stuff in here um but yeah and once you have uh done that uh we're gonna go ahead and make the basketball hoops uh just to get that out of the way so so for these two that are at the windows of the gym um you literally just come to the middle window it should be very easy to spot i mean there's um how many windows are there five so it should be very easy to spot the middle window find the middle glass of the middle window and then just um at the light gray um terracotta here you want to put a quartz block and then on either side you want to put stairs just like that quartz stairs you want to do the same thing on this other side here so uh, again find the very very middle right and then just do that and then a two quartz block coming down uh from said uh stairs and then connect them together all right and then a uh, red concrete in the middle all right and then again do the same thing on the other side boom 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 all right, and then on each end here, uh, you wanna have uh, red concrete, and then you wanna to come out by one, and then like like that, basically, so that there's like a hole in the middle, so two, and then come out by one, dig out the middle, just like that. And then um, from and then just beneath uh, the red concrete, you wanna put cobweb. This is, of course, the netting for the hoop, just like that. And then on either side of the hoop here, you wanna put iron bars with lanterns hanging down from them. And the iron bars are meant to be like, cause the, the, the hoops can actually like, I don't know if you know this, but like the hoops can go up like into the ceiling. Um, especially with, you have the bleachers here, um, might be, you know, sometimes they'll put the bleed the hoops up. So that's kind of what that's meant to be. And then the lanterns are of course to just provide some light. All right. Um, and then again, do the same thing on the other side. Um, and then, and yeah, once you have done this, um, also on the sides of the mat here, you want to go on the sides of the mats here, you want to go ahead and put torches. It's very, very dark in this gym. So, um, like even though we have these windows and all these lights, it's still really dark in here. So, cause it's just so big. It's like this room is really big. So you just, you want to put as much light as possible in here. Um, so yeah. All right, and now for the other two hoops, um, you simply just, um, now these are actually a bit uneven, which kind of sucks. Um, so for these ones, it's going to be a bit tricky uh, to figure out. But basically, you're going to come to the bleachers, right? 
uh, and you're gonna uh, so you're gonna come to the right side of the bleacher. So if you're coming to this bleacher, you're gonna come to the right side here. You're gonna go in by one, two, three, four, five, no six. Yeah, six. All right. And then you're just going to line that up to where the light gray is, right? The light gray terracotta. And then you're just going to put quartz right there. Stairs on either side. And then literally just make this basketball hoop. I mean, we should already know how to make the basketball hoop by now. Um, you know, just two on either side, connect together, right in the middle. Um, and then um, coming out like this. And then delete the middle. And then the web. Oops, I did not do that right at all. There we go. And yeah, very, very easy. These hoops are easily repeatable, just super, super easy. So yeah, shouldn't have any trouble with that. And literally, you don't even have to like count uh, on the other side. You literally just line it up like that um, uh, to the other side. Um, and then, yeah, and then literally just make the hoop again. So, and yeah, and that's how you make the basketball hoops. Uh, very, very simple. Um, really not much, uh, really shouldn't be a problem. Um, Hopefully, at least. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys were able to, um, you know, catch my really fast instructions. Uh, but honestly, they are really easy, so, you know, shouldn't have, you shouldn't really have any trouble with it. Okay, so um, now that you have done all that, that's pretty much all of the hard parts done. Now we really have to just, like, decorate the place. That's really all we have to do. So, um, you can go ahead and put um, everything away. And I'm just going to really quickly grab the floor. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Um, just gonna really quick, quickly grab the gym material. Um, yeah, and just kind of delete the. Um, oops, oh, I didn't do that right. It has to be like that way. It's giving me bad OCD there. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna delete the the wood above below the water fountains and wherever you know the the that is. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to do that really quick there. Um, all right, and now once you've done that, um, we're gonna grab black concrete. You're gonna grab oak sign. You're gonna grab stone button. You're gonna grab. Um, uh, go ahead and grab the torches again. What else are we going to need? Oh, right. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Go ahead and grab item frame, the clock, the monster spawner. Yeah, we didn't make the clock yet. Okay. And then grab, um, go, um, go ahead and grab, oh gosh, I don't know why this is so hard. Um, you know, and then just grab paintings, grab paintings. We'll go ahead and just stick with paintings. All right. So now uh, we're going to make the scoreboard, which is pretty simple. So you're going to come to this very basketball hoop, right? You can see where I'm at, right? This very basketball hoop, you're gonna come to this iron bar right here. You're gonna leave a gap of one from it. And then you're just gonna put, place a row of five um, black concrete and then just make another row below it. And then, um, all right. And then you're just gonna put stone buttons on either side of it. And then um, oak signs on the tops like this. And then item frames on the bottom, just like that. And that's just meant to be a scoreboard. This is like home, this is visitors, so tell you how many points. Uh, and then this is actually where you can like put like a, a number banner on top and you know maybe set scores. So if you were to actually play like some games in here, if you were doing role play, um, you can do that. So yeah, uh, very simple there. It's just a simple scoreboard. Um, okay, so now to make the um, clock here, you're just gonna come like just above one, oops, wow, that was the wrong thing. I meant to do iron uh, item frame. Uh, and then just put the monster spawner. Yeah, you guys pretty much know how to make that. We did that like at least a hundred times. <laughs> uh, oh, and then um, obviously beside the uh, um, the scoreboard here, you want to put lights. Again, put as many lights as you can because it's really dark in here. Uh, unless you like this like dullness in here, you guys can I guess keep that. But I, I prefer it to be like really bright. Okay, um, I think that's everything with these materials. So now we can do uh, the fun part. Uh, which is now putting in like the basketballs and all sorts of stuff. So you're going to grab orange concrete um, and then all the colored concrete and then blackstone button. Um, it actually really depends on what you're uh, putting in. Uh, so, okay, so you're going to come to these like spruce boxes here, basically. Um, and then you're just going to kind of like randomly like scatter just some like um, some blocks in here. So and then uh, these colored ones are simply just meant to be like uh, dodgeballs basically is what, uh, they're meant to be. Uh, so yeah, just kind of scatter them however you'd like, um, you know, just whatever. Um, so these are meant to be basketballs. Uh, these are meant to be dodgeballs, but you could totally do, uh, soccer balls in here if you don't like the basketballs. So you can do soccer balls like that. I mean, uh, or you can do, uh, here's another idea. We're going to grab brown concrete is going to be footballs uh, and then uh, we're gonna need birch button for this one um and then yeah these can be 
um, you know, just, um, just like some footballs. So you can put like all kinds of like varieties of, you know, sport equipment in here. It doesn't even have to just be balls. You can put, um, like, I guess hockey sticks, wherever you guys can figure that out on your own. But I recommend just putting the balls in here. Cause that's like, this is meant to be like the storage for all that. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, just kind of put, just kind of mess around with that, put whatever you want in there, but yeah, pretty simple. Um, and yeah, you guys can see we have done a majority of the gym. We are very close to the end. So, oh, I don't know why I got rid of my stuff. We need the paintings and the torches. Uh, so go ahead and grab those. Uh, oh, and also grab some sort of random block so you can put the paintings. Okay, so now we're simply just going to put um, two two by two paintings um, either side of the mats here, just like this. Um, and it, I'm, at this point, I don't even care if they're the same or not. I'm just, and then just put torches on either side of them. Because like, especially like if you guys, you guys saw how dark it is over here, how dark it was over here. Like it's extremely dark in this gym. Um, and then on this side, okay, actually on this side, do not put any paintings. This is going to be where we're going to put a whiteboard. Uh, but over here, you can totally put a painting if you want to. So like, um, uh, like actually you can bake, oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do here. We'll go ahead and do this. So you can make kind of like a collage of paintings, I guess, if you wanted to like that. Um, so this is kind of like paintings, like, I guess that tell you to stay fit. I don't know. <laughs> I've run out of ideas at this point. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of, like, maybe between the water fountains, maybe you'd want to put one that says, like, stay hydrated, I guess. And then just, like, again, just some uh, some uh, torches, because it's really dark in here. All right, yeah, so just anywhere you where you see that you can put a painting, just put a painting, because it really, you know, and especially, and if you have a painting, put torches around it. Put tor especially, like, yeah, definitely make sure to put torches where you can, because it is extremely dark in here. So, like, right here, you can put torches, maybe right here. Maybe right, yeah, just, just wherever you think you, just wherever you can, just put, put torches. Um, honestly, I think it's, a uh, you know, pretty well lit at this point, but yeah. And then, uh, right here is where you can put even more paintings if you wanted to, or you can also put water fountains here as well. Cause especially like this is where, you know, you go outside and then uh, you can come right here and then water fountains will be like right here. So I suppose you can put some water fountains here if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to put paintings in, cause you know, at this point I really don't care. Alrighty, and then I think, um, yeah, I mean, we can already, like, we're already coming to a rapid end here. I think this is honestly the last thing we have to do, uh, is put smooth quartz block, um, we also, we're also gonna need the dark oak wood slab, oh, and we also need the flags, and then the other flags that we made. So, so for these ones, the red banner, that with the half of it dark blue, and then the, just the stripes, um, just like above here, you're gonna put the um, it really doesn't matter where, just somewhere on this wall, uh, and then just put, like, three, oh, wait, no, you want to put two of the one with the blue, and then two of the stripes, there we go, and then that's meant to be, like, a giant American flag, of course, depending on what country you're at, you don't have to put this, this is just, you know, for us Americans, uh, if you want to make your own flag, if you're from somewhere else, um, you know, then you obviously can do that, um, and then, all right, and then uh, over here, beside the door, you wanna leave a gap of one. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. I meant to grab pillar quartz block. Um, we need pillar quartz block, not quartz block. There we go, pillar quartz block. All right, you're gonna leave a gap of one from the door and then just put two, uh, actually, we can put three pillar quartz block, actually, yeah. Three pillar quartz block and then just um, dark oak wood slab below it and then you wanna extend the pillar quartz up by one. And then this is, of course, a whiteboard because, you know, this is, like, where the gym key teacher can, like, kind of discuss, like, how to play, like, a certain sport or whatever. And then, of course, the flags, uh, which right now I can't, like, put the flags here. But, yeah, I guess you can... Oh, all right, well, yeah. I suppose you'd want to delete this torch so that you can put the flag here. But, but yeah, um, and then, yeah, I mean, that's... And that's pretty much it, guys. That is, yeah, that's the entire, like, gym pretty much completed. Of course, feel free to do whatever else you want in here. But honestly, like, we're done. I mean, it is, it's done, guys. Wow. We've, uh, can't, can't believe it, guys. We are, we are done with the school. Yeah, that's the entire gym. That's the entire interior done. I mean, yeah, good job, everyone. That is Wow, two hours later and we are finally done, guys. Oh my goodness. Wow, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this because, uh, yeah, this is actually crazy. We're completely done with the school. So, 
uh, yeah, that is the, the elementary school 100% completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm very, very sorry that this tutorial took forever to come out. Um, I've just been having a really busy schedule, and now that I'm actually going into summer school starting tomorrow uh, at the time of this recording, um, at least this recording that I'm recording right now, you know, my, 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 ugh, excuse me, my schedule is going to be pretty tight, so... Um, that's just kind of how it is. I'm a really busy person, so apologies. Um, you can't expect my tutorials to really come out at a certain time, so just kind of just know that. Um, it's really unfortunate, but anyway, guys, um, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please be sure to smash a like and subscribe um, to the channel. Um, I do all kinds of builds, all kinds of tutorials on this channel, so... Uh, and also, be sure to uh, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when another awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Um, but anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video.